I don't want to. I don't want to talk about Shohei anymore. Like, oh, LA. I, I don't we're going to do it, and it's going to be how we're getting through 80% of this episode. But, like, this sucks, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right, before we continue, just a big disclaimer to our viewers. Mm. This potentially, depending on where we go with this, this could be the saltiest conversation we've ever had. So just, you've been warned. I, I'm, you know what? I'm not even starting with Shohei and that, and like his decision, because whatever that happened, we'll get to it. I am starting this podcast with fucking John Heyman. Because I don't know, I, of the amount of time, the the length of time that I've been watching baseball, nobody has pissed me off in any sort of situation the way that John Heyman did this week. Dude, he's blocked like everyone. Oh my god, he hasn't blocked me, which is incredible. No, but um, like, like like other podcasters, like it's crazy. The biggest fucking loser in baseball media, and that's saying so much right now. The only reason so much he right has. Now like a job anymore i would say is because scott boris ha- is fucking this far mm-hmm. up his ass using him like a puppet mm-hmm. it's a puppet yep yeah. so, the, uh, the whole his whole statement just makes zero sense like to did. say this is good for ba- in what world is the dodgers getting better good for baseball it's good so for the dodgers it's good for dodgers good for fans baseball. Sure, but they have the marketing. They don't need. They don't need a Shohei. No, they they but sell out all the time. They the don't Dodgers, need Shohei. The Dodgers being good and the Yankees being good is good for baseball. Mm, okay, but they're already good. My my also another thing that I like to uh, yeah. There's uh, another thing. Jo- uh, it's brought up by uh, Jordan Chichelli on Twitter. Uh, you, yeah, Sh- Shohei going to the Dodgers is great. Like, for, it's going to grow the game when he plays in the same state that he already did. It didn't grow shit. They're two hours They're, apart. The the amount of eyes that will see Shohei is it's not changing. Hard to believe the fucking it's, same. It's probably not changing realistically. It's the same time zone. You're not getting any new viewers. It, it, it is what it is. Like to say that this is this is good for baseball and that him coming to Canada isn't good because there's a small time feel to the city him, of Toronto. Him him coming to Toronto and being able to be in New York and Boston like three times a year each is worse than being in those major markets like twice. Literally just the most ignorant comment I've ever heard from a fucking sports reporter of all time. Like it to say outside of hockey, we don't really like it's a small time feel. Did you see the Raptors parade? Did you see the last time the isn't, Jays were good in the playoffs? Isn't Toronto the fourth best or fourth biggest market? Biggest by population. In- like North America, like, yeah, we don't we we don't use the American dollar, but like you're gonna tell me that's still not gonna translate into fucking money somewhere. Sorry, we're not actually Siberia. Like this guy thinks we ride polar bears to our igloos for fuck's sakes. Like I just he's one step away from that with and these the thing, stupid ass comments. The thing that makes it even like worse and funnier is in his in his article, he says, "I know I will be accused of being an American." And then proceeds to say the most American shit of all time. I didn't even the, read this article you guys are oh, talking about. I, just, okay, I didn't read well, the article. I've seen all fine. the fucking here's clips. The, on the, it. Big, the big, well, you guys have probably heard the big quotes, but for those who haven't, no offense to the Toronto Blue Jays, rumored in the final days to be making progress, but this is much better for Major League Baseball. I know I will be accused of being an American, but the Dodgers are a storied franchise. The franchise of Jackie Robinson, Sandy Koufax, and Vince Scully. Baseball will be better for it. One second. Sorry, but reality is reality. The Jays are a fine team and organization. They've made the playoffs three of the last five years. Toronto is a beautiful city too, but for non-hockey sports, there is a small time feel to the place. Ignorant. Like, the most ignorant like, comment. I hope no. he comes to Toronto this year. I, I hope he doesn't show he his face in this country again, bro. He I'm won't. So, he doesn't have the balls. Too. so sick of that fucking loser. Like... He's a fucking loser. Just Every time he is, tweets, it just pisses me off. Everything he said, is, and then he fucking doubled down on it the next day. Oh, he he like retweeted Ken Rosenthal shit and was like, "I completely agree." Yeah, like this is great for base. Fuck you. This we, is great. Can we for call base. a spade a spade? And it happened even during the Raptors championship run. No, no, nobody from like ESPN or all those fucking they they don't like coming up here because they have to deal with customs. 
Like they don't like like that was the whole thing of, during that 2019 championship run where yeah. they like nobody in nobody in the U.S. media wanted to come up here. No, and even even during 2015, do you guys remember in the 2015 playoffs like the the crew that they had to call those Jays games? They oh. said that we played. Yeah, next they sent to up both. Harold Reynolds. They sent up Harold Reynolds. Oh, it's they, amazing to see a Canadian catch a ball. Yeah, but did you also do no, you remember? Ca- no, that was in where is that Texas or Kansas City? Oh, yeah. this guy caught the ball. We didn't see much of that in the start of this series up in Canada. But okay, the amount of times that guy bitched about the fucking they also, of a bus. they also said that we the Jays played next to an ocean. I'm pretty sure we could survive who? without all the Americans. Who did? Like, I think we could just create our was, own network was, of Canadians. It was, and do it was it. the three. I, it was the and it was in, in that Texas series. I don't remember who said it, but it was like the Harold Reynolds, like Tom Verducci one. I think they said that we played next to it. The Jays played next to an ocean. Yeah, they're dumb as fuck. I just like you. Don't, if don't, John Heyman, I think, ceased to exist probably, tomorrow, would baseball change? I think fifty. Ah, fifty's high. Thirty-five percent of America thinks Canada is literally this tiny little strip that they just see on the top of a map and on, that's on it. the on the weather on their weather forecast yeah. like that's what I mean uh, like yeah. Canada's just this tiny little strip or the little indent that like I was so them a little bit in Toronto I was in Arizona spring training for baseball fucking like high school um and we were walking around the mall me and one of my buddies and we're talking to a couple like talking to a couple people from down there, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. Get talking to one guy, say we're from Canada, blah, blah, blah. He's he's like, oh, like, where's that? Blah. We're like, my buddy goes, guess. He's like, um, I don't know, south. Okay, here's I was I I'll bring this up now because you mentioned <sighs> something about that. So and then just... so then sorry, there's a Go there's there's a little more I just thought of. So then we were talking, there were like conversation continued um from us southern Canadians. <laughs> Um, <laughs> talking about money at this point, uh, our dollar was weaker, but not by much, anyways. So, they uh, my buddy whips out a ten dollar bill so it's fucking colored in plastic and looks like fucking Monopoly money, but anyways. So, they this guy's like, Oh, that's cool, can I have it? So, they traded ten dollar bills, and the guy's like, So, you probably have to give me like three of these, right? It's almost true now. Like, yeah okay i just it gets ahead, worse come. because uh there was one time my sister played like softball like a pretty decent level and we I, I had to go with her to a tournament in the states and apparently this is her words not mine uh there was a another a, a player uh, there was another softball player there who says to her i it, uh, asks her where she's from and she's like oh, i'm from toronto and canada and then she says i shit you not I didn't know there were black people in Canada. This is, I, I just, just like to point out this tournament was in like Buffalo, New York. That's not, that's just, like, I, like this tournament wasn't in like of, Mississippi. It was in New we York. We don't have other races in Canada. We're all just white. Yeah. And we're parkas. It's white. And it's white and, and, and Native American and people. And live in igloos. Yeah, we're, it's just white and Native American people. We <laughs> ride our dog sleds and snowmobiles everywhere. We don't have roads. Fuck John Heyman, man. Like just we're all uh, next to the ocean, apparently. But we can since I'm well, since I'm still hitting people with the fuck you. Um, I just like to home. say we're not we're not getting nicer for a bit. L- a little closer. Fuck Shy Davidi. Because yeah, if you followed the Brilliant. whole thing that went down, we'll get into show here now, I guess. The on. Project. Friday, Friday, was Friday, Friday the plane? Friday was the plane Friday stuff. Friday morning, yeah. Uh, there was a lot of things that popped up about Shohei coming to Toronto. Uh, his plane was leaving to come to Toronto. He was on the plane to Toronto. He was gonna sign in Toronto, according to Baseball Writers Association of America writer J.P. Hornstra. Hornstra, yes. Hornstra and um, Morosi. And John Morosi. Morosi. John Morosi he was he, he was, was on the plane. signing imminently. He was on the plane. He, he was on his way to Toronto. Morosi in and also like Morosi quote tweeted his imminent thing with a Canadian yeah. flag. Yeah. Um. <laughs> then, fucking. Bobby Nightingale. Boob Nightingale of all Boob, people. Booby Nightingale. Was the one to be right about the whole thing and saying, 
Shohei has not gone to Canada. He is still at his house in Los Angeles. Also, small side note, it was also hilarious that Bob Nightingale was the guy to write the baseball media needs to do better. Oh, <laughs> granted, the article was fucking. I, I actually read it. The article. Baseball media great. does need to do fucking better. Yeah, he yeah. is the problem. The article was great. It's just I'm not like, saying Bob, he's not, but Bob, like, the wrong guy. <laughs> Like it was a really good article, but Bob's the wrong guy to. You know who can write that article, and the only person on the planet that can write that article, Jeff Passan. Jeff Jeff Passan. That's it. Someone, someone put it plainly. This whole fiasco with the plane has like, like etched Jeff Passan as the goat of baseball writers. Has Jeff Passan ever misreported anything? All other baseball writers and just have Passan. I don't even need to be the first one to the news. Jeff Passan's gonna tweet it at some point, and he's gonna tweet it when it is correct. Yeah, that's it. But Jeff before Passen, we get like, too far ahead of ourselves, yeah, can yeah, we yeah. talk back, about back to shy. Back to before shy. we get too far okay. ahead of ourselves? All of that goes down. We have John Heyman tweeting things. John Heyman, reputable reporter, John Heyman. Uh, well, Baseball Writers yeah. Association of America writer. Reputable dickhead. Morosi. Still, still a pretty, pretty, like, pretty good he's in, source. He's an in the know guy. Good source. Who? Heyman? Yeah, Heyman's yeah. an in the know no, mother. He's a reputable dickhead. On the okay, on it. the on the hierarchy tier list, Heyman is like. If Passan is like an S, Heyman's like a BC. Like it's still Fuck John it's, He's not right on anything. No, he's Fuck not a BC. Guy. He's a D. It's at best. Regardless, yeah, Hornstra. He's sitting on top no, of Bob notable head on the fucking bottom of this pyramid. About to be editor Hor- JP Hornstra, about to be editor in chief of Dodgers mm-hmm. Nation. Yes. And he's a baseball writers of association. Apparently. Guy gets a Hall of Fame vote. He's he's a, he matters in baseball writers. I think Who when you're wrong on this shit, you should lose that. Has gone. No, absolutely. Able. But that's not Shai Davidi's take. Shai Davidi's take is that we are Forget a bunch him. of idiots. Hang your heads in shame. People. Because the dangers of of unchecked there, media sources. There are scenarios where the fans take things way too far, and it's fans that escalate things. Sure. No, that's I not what happened. Ex- I can't think of an example off the top of my head. This is not that's the how, example no, to go off of. No, I'm he not saying that. He straight up said yesterday was an example of why you need to pay attention to your sources. Do you know who tweeted this shit and retweeted everything that was going on? The, the company sources. that he works for. Also, the MLB official Twitter. Literally. Like, like I lost so much respect for that fucking idiot on this one. Like, it was your company that was doing this. You were a part of the problem. And now you're blaming Toronto fans for getting excited because all of these people that actually have have sources usually are tweeting these things out. And then, but like, and then I guess we can kind of move into the, like, Shohei actually signing. Mm-hmm. Because Shohei oh, actually did. I have well, I have a point on this first, okay. on yes. the Friday night, that I think mm-hmm. is very interesting. Yeah. Fuck Morosi, because he was one of the ones that tweeted it. I blocked okay. him. He did post an apology Friday night. Yeah. He did not resurface on Twitter oh, yeah. until like Yesterday. Monday. Like yeah, like two days ago. <laughs> fucking Probably fucking the best. J- JP Hornstra. Mm-hmm. No, well, like did... honestly, honestly, I think that should be your fucking at least your punishment. You don't get to fucking do anything else. Like you shut up. For... Also, Fuck off side for note, a week. Did yeah. you guys the, the guy that posted <clears> like a the guy that also tweeted out? Like the press conference at 6 p.m. and then yeah. went, Oh well. Who was that guy? I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, I didn't really believe him, but like... I didn't either, but I'm like cons- like but but see, then I didn't we see get... half of this. I was driving to your house. Yeah. I was, I was coming work. home from work and then I was driving to Brand's house. I it was a slow day at work, so I was able to follow all this. I, was... I saw all of it. I fucking I was in dude, meetings all day. I feel like such an idiot because huh. I called my I on my during my work shift, I call my mother and I'm like, "Mom, I think we got him." <clears throat> yeah, I think we got him. It felt like we had him for like a, even, a night and, for like and six even, hours. And even after that, Bob Nightingale, like the whole like it, he was he's not on that plane. I, I was did. still like, 60. "I'm like, I, it is Bob." Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, no, no, no. But even but even after like, okay, it was not happening at all. I was still like sixty forty. Like we yeah. we could probably get him. And then. Saturday, like, was it afternoon? Comes around Saturday morning. It was around. It was three. No, it was, it was about three o'clock. Was, yeah. Okay. I I was. I'll tell you where I was when this was going down. I I, I slept. Yeah, I slept in until about one o'clock. Uh, I had I worked Damn. before. I uh, I got in the <laughs> shower at like at like two like quarter to three, feeling so good about the day that I'm about to have. <laughs> I get out of the shower. I check my phone, and all I see is. 
Shohei Otani is a Dodger. He posted it on his you gotta, Can we just talk about this for a second? Because mm. um, I'm very curious about your shower habits now. You got into the shower at quarter to three. Yeah. And this news broke at quarter after three. Okay, I showered for like 15 <laughs> minutes. The other 15 minutes was like, I didn't pick up my phone as soon as I got out of the shower. <laughs> oh, what? Guys, taking a like half I, hour shower. Fine. Correction. <laughs> I got back dre- in high school. I got just, correction. I got dressed before I looked at my phone, and then I look. I grabbed my phone and I saw the most heart crushing news I've ever seen in my life. I was driving on my phone. I will not lie to the people, and it just popped up and said Jeff Passan, and I'm like. Is it and the real see, Jeff Passan? And then you I'm see like Shohei Otani in the in yeah. like. It says Shohei Otani is joining the Dodgers according to his Instagram. Yeah, it's according to him. Like that's the. And I'm like, okay, I'm like is I clicked on Jeff Passan's thing and it said like 1.9 million followers or whatever he has. I'm like, okay, so this is actually Jeff Passan. I'm like, yeah. maybe he's trolling. And I go to yeah. Shohei. You go Shohei's <laughs> actual Instagram. Fair enough. It's literally Shohei just grabbed the. If you type up LA it's Dodgers, just the logo, Dodgers logo, if you type too. in LA Dodgers logo, that's literally the first image yeah. that pops up. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, Shohei signed for. I think a I, lot of money. She, you guys could talk about your timeline. I don't. No, I know your timeline. You were passed <laughs> out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I was up. They may have had to drop me off early from running around doing errands, so I could take a nap. But we uh, might have deleted a few beers the night before. I think it was very disrespectful of Shohei to uh, sign at that time because I was trying to take a nap and my phone did not stop going off for like half an hour. So that was that on the whole napping. So I love how I love how we did. That's my get... slight fuck you to Shohei. I love how we didn't even get into like the conspiracies that people. Tried we'll to get there with. in a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. No. Yeah. Shitty timing, dude. Like. The whole house was nursing a hell of a hangover. I was having to go set up a Christmas party. It was not a good time for him to sign. He could have waited another day. I was hungover at work of just like disappointment. No. Like it was rough. <laughs> no, that hangover was not disappointment. I can tell you that, Connor. No, mine was while I was at work. <laughs> like, mine was not disappointment. Just fucking anger and disappointment. Um now you did mention the conspiracies, and I, I don't buy into all of them. I okay, I buy there's like layers that i buy into i buy into the fact that somebody fed morosi uh, and morosi pretty much everything that and, Mer- and hornstra everything oh, that sure. they report. i think 100 someone in and... otani's camp here's the thing <laughs> and, is and otani was so tight-lipped for the entire process and then all of a sudden within two days it was oh he's the signing is imminent he's going here it's gonna happen Oh, he's not here. Oh, and he's then it's like, team. oh, he's not here. He's going to the Dodgers. I think that got him a hundred million dollars. I and, think so and, too. And even um, in Hornstra, he had a he come out with a poly video a couple of days ago, and he was like, "I had two sources that I trust, like, like highly being like Shohei to Toronto is a done deal, hmm? and that's why he put it out, hmm? and that's why that's why he even fucking doubled down on it Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah, he doubled down on Shohei to Toronto Saturday morning. They like, I I'm. A little pissed off at Shohei for it because at the end of the day, it is his choice. Is this like- what I'm more pissed off at his the whole CAA agency because of the way they went about it. And I get it; they got themselves a little bit more money. But at uh-huh. the end of the day, we're talking about life changing money, whether it's seven hundred or six hundred or, or five seventy five. Like it's yeah. all a ridiculous amount of money. So or two, as we'll get into later. And you fucked up I- a whole country for a day. To try yeah. and get yourself an extra, say you now made Robert. Dollars. You now made Robert Herjavec a fucking public. He's the enemy, enemy of the country one. right now. He's an enemy of the state. Yes, <laughs> and he's Canadian. He's Canadian. <laughs> you turned us against him. <clears throat> See, okay, and that's where we have to go into like d- fucking. They didn't. That one CAA, I don't think is real. CAA didn't stick Robert Herjavec on a goddamn flight Friday <laughs> Friday morning. I can believe it though. I mean. I... A lot has happened, and I could believe it. I don't think it happened. I don't think that's what like, happened. Like, the lying to, I believe. The Dodgers being spooked by the reporting, I can believe. Like. I I heard from a decently credible source, I will say, mm-hmm. that um, they have on pretty good authority that um, Otani's interest in the Jays was real, but CAA and 
whoever his agent is so uh were were really pushing him to the to the Dodgers. So what you're saying is Shohei Otani wanted to be bad for baseball? Mhm. I guess so. Shohei Otani hates baseball. Shohei Otani doesn't like he, baseball. He hates the major leagues. Yeah. <sighs> and then we get like I, I guess then we can get into the where were you when you found out that 98% of this man's contract is not actually being paid for? Oh, my, that made it so much worse for me. <laughs> like, I literally, I, why? You, I don't you find care. Out, I you hate find it. Out that he makes 700 million and then that's it for 10 years. That, that's all you know. And then, like, two days later, oh, yeah, 680 of that is deferred. The Dodgers on Saturday, in our minds, had $70 million a year locked up in Shohei Otani. It's really hard to build a team when you have that kind of money locked up in someone. The odds of them going out and getting a Yamamoto, a, a Yamamoto a or Josh Hader. Josh Hader. I don't even know what else. They, they need pitching. Tyler Glass now. Blake Snell. Jordan someone Montgomery, along those like, lines. Well, I'm, like, I'm listed, uh, the first three were ones they're actually linked to right now. So No, but I, like they it's have like, the option for like guys like that now. They yeah. they, they needed pitching at the time. Of, we yeah. all thinking Shohei was $70 million a season. They like, have what? One starter next year? Um, Because like, Kershaw's not signed yet. As huh? of right now, they have, B- I think it's Bueller, Bobby Miller, Ryan Pepio, who's probably going to be a Ray, uh, Emmett Sheehan, and Ryan Yarborough. So one starter. <laughs> Uh, Bobby one Miller and a was bu- good. Other Bobby, than that, one okay. and a bunch of rookies. Bobby Miller, like, Ryan Gross. So one, one established rookies. major league starter on a team that has a, a lineup that looks like the Dodgers lineup is not good. Also, enough. that starter is coming off. Uh, uh, Tommy John. Tommy, Tommy John. John right? Probably yeah. going to be on an innings limit. Right. So they need starting pitching. And when they're paying a guy $70 million and that's going on your books, that's a lot of money. Now, when you're paying him $2 million, they can now go out and get Yamamoto and Blake Snell if they want. Well, I mean, they're, uh, they're from all the reports today, they're pretty much trying to get in glass now, and they're still in on Yamamoto. They brought the whole and damn Hader. team to go see Yamamoto. And Hater. Shohei showed up for the Yamamoto meeting. Like, oh. actually? Yes. yes. It was, it was Shohei, him, Freeman, what? and Mookie. Mookie. And wasn't there one more? <laughs> I know. I think it like for Andrew Friedman, right? So he's gonna be like, "Yo, man, I love LA so much." Such, you well, he's been right here. He's the lived there. Time. I know. Yeah. Like, but I hate this. They, they, much- this is the part I hate the most. Is because now they're just gonna build this Golden State Warriors of the major leagues. Okay, but like, it's here's the thing me. that is that's super confusing. And by the time I finish explaining this, I don't. You guys don't. You could probably be more confused. Perfect. Apparently, the way that it like it's going on the CBT. It's forty six mil a season. That was right. forty three. No, they're not forty six. It's forty six. They're treating it like it's forty six million on yeah, on the I CBT. So, so they techni- still save so money on the luxury tax through through insurance value and depreciation and inflation or all that. Mm. It's it's just think of it as a 10, 10 year four hundred sixty million dollar deal. Mm. As far as like the CBT goes, so, which you know the I think one you said you said this on. Thursday or Friday, Connor, you said Shohei wants part ownership of the team he's going to. They it was legally... like a rumor. That's like, what he's yes. No, so that's what I'm getting at here. It, what... They legally can't do that. Yeah. But legally, yes. when he but has, when that 10 years is up. owed $680 million at the end of it, and he retires, they're going to be like, here's your portion. Here's your or your six hundred eighty million, million dollars worth of shares in Dodgers ownership. Thank you for your. Oh, 10 it's hundred percent what happens. I don't know. However, if you guys have seen chips. this. Did you see what came out today about his contract? I don't. Oh yes, this is my favorite part because there I hope Ipe gets fired now. There is an opt out, Nate. And do you want to know what the opt out is? It is if controlling owner. Mark Walter or president of baseball operations, Andrew Friedman lose their role with the teams or his translator loses the role with the team. Are those, did they, they come out and say those were the guys? Yes. Really? He can opt. He, if, if his translator, if, if the GM or the, like Andrew Friedman or Mm. the uh, majority owner, I just said, yeah. Controlling owner Mm. lose their role with the team. He is able to opt out the year that they did it. Yo, this is the fucking best deal for Andrew Friedman. Ever. That's what I'm saying. Andrew, Andrew Friedman And the is owner, like, bro. Yeah, but the owner's not going to lose his majority owner status. He could just get rid of it. And then all of a sudden, he doesn't owe Shohei $680 million anymore. 
See you later. Or a large portion. Of yeah, but it, that's what I'm saying. It, th- I don't think it's as good a deal for him. Like he's not getting rid of that. No. The, your GM is now locked in for ten years because you're not fucking up and getting rid of Shohei. Also, a big thing with this contract is I think it was something <laughs> to do with like the rules of like a person living. It's some tax shit. But mm-hmm. essentially, once that sixty-eight million starts kicking in, mm-hmm. it is not it's not based on where Shohei worked it's based it's on where he he's living yeah so he could just go live in florida and get nothing taxed you can go back to get, japan and go to japan and get all 68 of that million mm-hmm. for 10 more years this is brilliant for the for Shohei's team brilliant it's fucking and apparently it's brilliant like, and also Shohei brought this to every team yes but he's making more money out of it. There's no way. There, a lot of teams aren't going to be able to do this one. No, Th- this is a, fucked. This is like a one-time thing. Yeah. Like, um, dropping, what is it, $68 million a year for A year. For 10 a guy years? that will not be playing. For a guy that's not playing baseball for you? For, for a guy that will be. He could a, be playing baseball elsewhere. Right, Probably won't he, be. The first year of his deferred payments, he will be 40. Yeah. Just, he's gonna be making sixty eight million a year from age forty to fifty. He's gonna be fifty years old getting paid. He's not. He's, he's gonna be a. Fuck, he's gonna be he's gonna an be owner of the Dodgers. Dodgers but front office. Technically, as of right now, he's going to be forty years old, fifty years old, making sixty eight million dollars from the Los Angeles Dodgers. So what a world! I have a hypothetical here for you, fellas. Mm-hmm. Shohei Otani came over to MLB at age twenty three, I believe. Mm-hmm. If we're doing the math, yeah. Okay. 23, 24. So if he came over at age 25, he wouldn't have been subject to the rookie contract and all of that. Mm-hmm. Did he make the right decision? Yes. I think ultimately. I, like, does every, $700 million? Or, no, so that's what the, the story was. He came over, he took less, he money, took less money to yeah. come here. Yeah. Because he wanted he, to come two years early. Yeah. I mean... He's probably getting the guy gets he's probably forty five to fifty deal. million dollars a year with, if he doesn't step on the field from endorsements and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm saying if if he if he came, waited two years, came over at twenty five, mm-hmm. he's probably getting what a seven eight year deal, three hundred million easy, four hundred. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna go that far. Actually, yeah, you've never seen him play in the majors. I don't know given, if he's throwing that much the... money. I think he probably gets two fifty three hundred. They're saying Yamamoto could get three. Different time now, though, right? That's fair. Yeah. yeah. But you got to think of the market at the time, too. I think Shohei maybe yeah. gets uh, 150, 175. I think he's probably yeah, in the 200. That's aggressive. I think so he's in the 200 anyways, somewhere. And then he's, it's probably an eight to 10 year deal. He's turning like 33, 30 to 35. Yeah. And By then the you're getting a little agent, bit less on the next deal. Not getting, yeah. He's not getting this. No. So. Oh, yeah, on, he please. made the right choice. Um, I have a question for the two of you. Would you rather, now that Shohei is there for 10 years and they're going to have this super team for the next 10 years because they're only paying him pocket change, would you rather see them win 10 World Series in a row or not win a World Series in this entire Shohei era? Do you want me to laugh or or be spiteful? Personal choice. I think zero just because it's fucking funny. That's where I'm at, too. Like, I think just because it's funny. I want to see this thing burn. Not like, he, not due to health, obviously. I just want. No, no. Play. I want him to play 162 a year and have them go out in the second round every time. I'm going to LA Clippers. Of I'm going to agree with you because I think 10 championships in a row Sucks. for one team would be absolutely horrible for baseball. Yeah, that's bad for baseball. <laughs> I but I think him not winning championships is bad for baseball, too. Um, mm. I, I, I see. I know where you're going, getting at with that. But on the other hand, I, I don't want some team to try and do this. Like, I, I like spending your money to go and get the guy. But I don't like spending your money this way to get every guy, and just being like, the, who's going to beat the Dodgers this year? If you're looking at on paper, there's nobody close to the well, Dodgers. We say this right every now. year. Sure. If. Actually, if the Jays sign Shohei, that. no, wait one second. Okay. Mm-hmm. If the Jays sign sh- sign Shohei, I get you don't have the Freeman Betts contract, sure, mm-hmm. but what really makes us that different? Gossman, Barrios, uh, yeah. Kikuchi, 
you had Chapman on a deal. Um, Springer. Who the Mookie's money is also deferred. I'm thinking of. So is Freeman's. Yeah. Bassett was the other one I'm thinking of. Like, we've also made a ton of big signings. We've got a better rotation. I would argue the Dodgers. I mean, the Dodgers just won 100. Oh, I'm not saying on paper. I'm saying what makes us different from the team, from what you're saying the Dodgers will be. The fact that their team without Shohei just won 100 and something games, and we did not. We didn't even win 90. I'm saying the way you went about building your team, which is what okay, yeah, you were yeah. saying you're yeah, yeah. We're doing, we did it, we would have done essentially the exact. No, same. I'm not. I'm just saying they're gonna like. I mean, we might have built off of that, but like they still have more money than we do right now. Like they, they have, they can afford to go get a lot more than we're gonna go get. Like, do you see the Jays waking up tomorrow and signing Yamamoto? No, I don't see. They're it. in it on it. Sense. Yeah, they're in and on I, it, but it doesn't make sense. It's bad for baseball. I, I don't agree with the it doesn't make sense thing. Okay. Like you sign him and you get rid you of move Kikuchi a pitcher to get or, a bat. Does it make sense? Or, uh, unless you trade Alec Manoa. Yeah. No, I'd move one I'd of the move other. Alec Manoa for a bat if that's the case. Sure. I think you're getting more for um, a Bassett or a Kikuchi. Mm. Like Bassett makes the most sense. And then you bring in some yeah. back end guy. To compete with Manoa, because you also have Tiedemann. Like, sure. I don't want to block him out, too. No, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't even remember what I was saying. I don't know. I would like to see this thing not work for the Dodgers. I think that'd be way more fun. On Personally. that on that note. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was about should... to... Sorry, yeah. Nate, you just right because you go me the fucking first you time. Go. You did, Nate, right, you said that the Dodgers are the best team in baseball on paper? Yeah. I'd I like don't know call, if that's true. I'd like to call bullshit. Who would you say? The Braves. Yeah. I don't think so. You can make the argument the fucking Phillies. No, you can't. You could, it's, but you'd be wrong. You can make <laughs> it's an the argument. only argument really is you can the make Braves the argument the A's too, but it doesn't. It's true. The Braves could go toe to toe with that lineup. They don't have they the have one, two, three star power that the Dodgers do. But look at the bullpen they've just put together. Mm-hmm. They got better pitching rotation. Mm. And I'd argue their lineup is deeper. Mm-hmm. Brand, mm-hmm. Think about the Braves 7 8 9. Yeah. And think about who the fuck the Dodgers 7 8 9 is right now. Gavin Lux. It's Chris like Taylor. It's like Lux, Chris Taylor, Taylor, and James MVP Outman. P finalist. No. Taylor was in the top so. 10 one year. It's Lux, Taylor, and Outman versus like. Rookie of the year, James Outman. Sorry, rookie of the year finalist, James yeah. Outman. Against Arcia. like. Arcia, Michael Harris, and I think Roberto Ozuna. Or not Roberto, Marcel. Jesus. Roberto <laughs> Ozuna. Fucking. I, I don't know, man. You can make I, the argument. I think that the is a comparable think, bottom three. I don't I think the top half of the Dodgers is better. I don't agree with that being a comparable bottom three it's, it's necessarily, bottom but three. I think. I don't think you can say the Dodgers are the best team in baseball right now with this pitching stuff. They're not, if they get Glasnow and Yamamoto, then hands you up. know they're going to. It's just they're, the, the they're problem getting, here is you signed, know they're getting one, they're not, maybe two of the. If big they games. signed Kershaw, Lance Lynn, and Kyle Gibson, I would have said they are the best team in baseball. Yeah, if they get Glasnow, if they get Glasnow and like, if they get they're going to get Kershaw back. If they get yeah, Kershaw's going back there. If they get Glasnow and Hater, like. If they end this offseason with Kershaw, Bueller. Yamamoto, Glasnow, Hater. The Dodgers are nuts. The Dodgers, we had this argument, I'm uh, bringing it mm-hmm. up again. The Dodgers are what every team and fan base in Major League Baseball wants to be. Mm. I don't think you can argue that. I would argue I would like to see a team built the way the Astros did. As opposed that's to great. the Dodgers, that's great. But they are the, the team Astros, itself is the Astros ridiculous. Don't have the money to go out and no. supplement. You're right, but I think I think any team can be they the Astros. Keep Correa. They're not going to be able to keep Bregman. I, 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 I probably won't. 100. Any any team can be the Astros. 100 yeah. percent agree with you. And I think not that's where my point is. But every that's what I'm saying is every team wants to be the Braves mm-hmm. or not the, the, the Dodgers. Team. I mean, yeah, every team wants to be the Dodgers. I would, I would like for my team to sign up all of their fucking young sure. superstars to create. They make amazing. They've made amazing trades. They develop players so well. From all accounts, they're 
like organization top to bottom is flawless and they spend money in free agency to supplement when they need to. I think they, I like the Dodgers before when they had like the whole team was just like homegrown guys and they had like, they brought in like Machado to just supplement. Now it just feels like all of their top end guys are guys they just went and spent the money on, which kind of just feels a little shittier to me, but Brand. it is what it is. Technically, mm-hmm. Brand, like I really know. don't feel bad about bets at all. That's on Boston. Boston could have spent Stupid. the money. Boston yeah, didn't. Yeah. And Boston wanted to dump salary and give him away for nothing. Yeah. And he went to LA. And I mean, like, then they extended. Oh, actually, LA is kind of. Yeah. But an extension is different than a free agent signing. Yeah. The the, no, Freddie, right. the Freddie Freeman one is a little shaky because, like, apparently, for all accounts, <clears throat> Atlanta thought they were out on Freddie. Mm-hmm. So that's why they went to go get Matt Olson. But then it was like, oh, wait, no, we weren't. So. Yeah. And he sorry, wanted Freddie, to go back. And he yeah. wanted to go back. So. Probably the same sources that told everybody that Shohei was going to the Blue Jays or the ones that told fucking the Braves that they were out. Yeah. The same it's all coming together now. So the same people that told fucking John Heyman that Arson Judge was a Dodger or Giant. Yeah. I thought that was Boob. No, no, no Arson John was uh, Arson was John Heyman. Yeah. Um, can we go back to Ross Atkins? Yeah, we we're now in the what now section, as I like to call it. I don't even think we need to hit what now just yet, but okay. like I I feel kind of bad for Ross. I because like obviously this happens a lot. <laughs> getting Atkins. used getting used for leverage happens a lot in sports. They it seems talk, like every time it happens, it's Toronto. <laughs> they mentioned it on Baseball is Dead, and it was a great point. We are the side chick to every superstar that's ever been a free agent in the last four years. Like they oh, they get God. with us for a little bit to make the the star the the main girlfriend jealous, and then they try harder to bring their star back. We are the Instagram page. every time, <laughs> every damn time. And I don't know how you don't let that happen if you're Ross Atkins because he did everything right in this situation. Like he they, the money it. was there, the the pitch was there. They brought him to Dunedin, which is like the best facility in baseball. The, the one thing I they did everything was, they could. I think it was FT said it. Why didn't he come to Toronto? Because the stadium's dog shit right now. It's in so shambles. Being renovated. Yeah, I get thing. it, but like. You come see the city at least, or something. Yeah, yeah. I think that was kind You're of strange. Right. Yeah, that's where the uh, the sushi reservation with Kahuchi was about. <laughs> yeah, I, I, just, I know that I one mean, is fake, but that I love that's still I'd being believe. like permeated. We blew I, the Kahuchi thing so far out of proportion. They're not even like friends, man. <laughs> no, they don't I talk. mean, I think no, but I think Kikuchi like um Kikuchi's a couple years older, and Kikuchi, Otani I looked think up like, like, a few Otani years looked older. up to him. Sure. They they don't really talk to each other. No, I don't think they're like, friends. They don't have an open line of communication between the two of them. And everyone's like, "Oh, Kikuchi's going to bring Shohei here." I'm like, "Kikuchi might have some influence." Maybe. I think Kikuchi, uh, like the reports that come out, that Kikuchi was like part of the pitch. Like sure. he was there in like. Sure. But it wasn't like be? come play with your best friend. You say it, there, there were people like, "Oh, childhood best friends." It's like they never they Whoa. never met when they were kids. Like yeah. never once. They yeah. just grew up apart, same school, okay. same town, never met. Carried on. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. But, 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 but Ross, like, I think I just want to like my my head this whole time. I I said it when we were talking about this as soon as the offseason opened, and the reports were that the Jays were on show. I was like, I'm. I think there's a chance, and I'm not gonna fucking get too excited about it until it happens. And then the plan I, happened. No, honestly, <laughs> I I really wasn't that excited. I still was like. I think there's a better chance that it happens now. Yeah. But I'm still waiting until it happens. The thing I was most excited for was in my mind, you essentially were getting Shohei for free because he wasn't going to count into what you had to spend this year. So you right. were getting different budget. one of the best hitters in baseball for free and to add your to your team. Budget. And, you and then you use your actual budget. Yeah. Now we have our actual budget, which I don't know what it is, but you're so, not supplementing. You're, I think, like, you're I think, sifting through a pile of shit to find yeah. a fucking gemstone that isn't there. I think, I think the, one of the biggest reasons why the the whole airplane and the Dodger signing thing hurt even more is it's not just we would have gotten Shohei. It's that we like we would have Toronto would have said to the baseball world, "Fuck you, we are big. We're here. Fuck you, we're here." Like I think we are here. I think uh, no, well, we think like, that, but nobody down there. Think that. No, I think uh, not everyone. No, not as many. There's a shit. few people. But you look at look at Gossman's tweet 
talking yeah. about like shut shout the out fuck up. Kevin you don't. Yeah, that was great. Fucking, you you have obviously been to Toronto or whatever the hell he said. Like, yeah, you look at we have swayed big free agents in the past four, four, like, four or five, five years. off seasons. Like, yeah, big free agents Ryu. that other teams were in on. Who was it? Twenty twenty one. Ryu was Ryu was Springer. Springer, Springer Ryu, and then Springer, Gosman. We, we beat up the Mets for Springer, Rios. didn't we? For Rios, yeah. what's that? We we went the extra year uh, against the Mets with uh with Springer. We went the extra year. That's why he came to us. Kevin Gosman shows us over the Mets. Over the Mets was cool. for less money. Yeah, like um, you got Jose Barrios after half a season. But to the, extend, we're the only ones that feel this way. Is the problem? Is that like, like now we just look like oh Shohei was never coming to Toronto so. anyways? You're all a bunch of idiots. I don't think I hate so. It. I think there's um, another city in California that I would bet feels worse than us. Which one? Not in San Fran. Oh, San Fran. Yeah, San Francisco. Because they just got their star. Mm-hmm. They just got their star. Couldn't tell you what his name is, but he's a star. Jung Hu Lee. Jung Hu Lee. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. When was the last time a Korean player came over and had a huge impact? I mean, I, I mean, nothing against Korean players. Like, <laughs> Kim's been really good. I was gonna say it depends on what you um, think of Hassan okay. Kim. But yeah. like, like they're labeling him. The report I saw was the Giants got their star. <laughs> the step I, I down of, from I like of being him. in the, offering dude, the same deal the show until they Otani. fucking announced it. Honestly, dude, the the, the, the the last two off seasons for the Giants, so painful. Fucking arson, Judge. Uh, you having Carlos Correa for Carl, about yeah. two, for two hours? <laughs> like, no, they had him for more than that. He was like actually, fucking yeah, they had him for a couple suit, days in a press conference, <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> this team could have like Aaron Judge, Carlos, Carlos Correa, Correa um, like, Shohei Otani, and, Otani Jung Huli. and Jung Huli. And they're left with Jung Huli. But guys, they got Manaya and Stripling and they don't um, even have Manaya anymore. And Conforto. Um, Conforto instead. That's good. like so much better. It's good. They put up a graphic of like the the lineup for next year, like the projected oh, lineup. Boy, like, it's so bad, dude. You're Lamont two, Wade's hitting two, bro. No, Lamont Wade's leading off. Oh, <laughs> their top three was like Lamont Yo, Wade, Jung Tyro Estrada, and no, he's hitting like seven. Why is he not the three hole hitter? I don't know. He's their yeah, star. That was their big signing, and they're just he's got he's hitting seven. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh man. Um, I needed that laugh. That does good. does not getting Shohei hurt a little bit more knowing that the Yankees traded for Juan Soto? Oh, that's entirely why it hurts more. I think too. that's why it feels as bad as it does. Because we're currently in worst case scenario land with the Jays. Yeah. You think this the Padres fucked up trading him when he did? I think that the Yankees came in with like their take it or leave it kind of offer. Like I, I think like sure, but there would have been seven teams interested once Shohei signed. If you, okay, probably like, maybe, I don't know if it's the same market. But if you're talking, if you're like, talking like San Fran's not in that. I don't think the Cubs are. I San, I think San Fran would have absolutely. I think the they Cubs just went would, and got Jung Hoo Lee. The Cubs would have tried. I'm not saying they would have done it. Yeah, but the difference between a rental and mm-hmm. signing a guy for five years. Yeah. For how many years they send leave for is a, is a bit different. Yeah. Every team's think, got that confidence in them that they're going to be the like, team that signs him while he's there, though. They're the team that can give him the contract so. that a, he resigns on. He's a fucking porous guy, man. Whether like, it's, it's going to happen or not, it doesn't matter. It, every team's got that, like, I'm better than the next GM. I'll be able to. to no, nah, man. If you if you traded for Soto, you were getting him for one year. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm now in the camp of sign Soto next year. Oh. Dude, all, I'm already yeah. Thank you. I'm already on team. Million dollars to Juan Soto. I'm already on Bucket. team. Give Juan Soto five twenty. Sure. Like, and defer Why like th- and defer like a quarter of that. Give him a million dollars a year for the first ten. Like, and then give him six hundred when he's done. Because I don't care. Like we can. I was gonna <sighs> try and transition, but like, where do the Jays go from here? Where do they go? Because we're currently in a scenario where the best available free agents are. Woody Bellinger and Yamamoto. If uh, yes, but let's be honest, we're probably not getting Yamamoto. We're not getting the, Yamamoto. The odds of Yamamoto are like five percent. I don't I think, think we're getting Belly either. I uh, here's my thing. 
I couldn't someone, even tell you who's in on Belly. Like, who is in someone, on Belly? Okay, someone put it, like, very plainly. And I don't trust anyone. This is kind of on <laughs> Belly. The, Cody Bellinger was the highest... Uh, he had the highest F4 for, for any position player. Yeah. Uh, of free agent. You want to know two, three, and four? Matt Chapman, Brandon Belton, Kevin Kiermaier. Mm. Like... Right. Fuck F4, because it's based on projections. Okay, fine, fine. But, like... Right. But, um, but if we a, do but get Cody Bellinger, I hope he breaks up with his girlfriend. Okay, we're not gonna get into that. That was I hate that. She tweeted out the picture of Toronto. Like we're okay. still we're still reeling over the show. Oh yeah, that was like the. Next I don't day need to after. see this right now. I think it was the day of the show. I already don't trust anyone. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. She is a model. I think there is something going on in Toronto as far as like fashion. So she might and that image there. that's like a three year old image, dude. There's a whole skyscraper missing. <laughs> like so, but I think. Like, yeah, I think you got to get him. His market is like the Cubs and us and maybe the Giants still, because apparently that's an option for them, even though they got Lee. I think the Blue Jays can get a piece or two and still be really damn good. Yes. I do. But Cody I, Bellinger or Jorge Soler? We can talk on it. I'd rather Hoskins than Soler. I was going to say but Cody, yeah. your Cody Bellinger, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins, Teoscar Hernandez. Like, I think there's pieces you can put into this lineup that increase the power levels of this team that help. I like Ahmed Rosario a lot. Sure. You got two infield spots open, and the only other one that would fit, in my opinion, is Turner. I would love Justin Turner. But apparently... Keep in mind, mind, when Justin Turner was a free agent, uh, what year was that? Like 17, 18? No, the the one before that. Mm. He thought he was coming to Toronto. He was on uh side piece to the Dodgers again. He, well, he like no, but he thought he was coming to Toronto. It wasn't like the Dodgers didn't offer him a deal until like the end. He was he was like ready to announce he was going to Toronto. Hmm. So it doesn't seem that far fetched to me. But I, I we were talking about it in our group chat beforehand. But hmm. like one of these guys doesn't do it for me. I I like I think I like the idea of like if it's not going to feel good, but like if the only piece you sign is Reese Hoskins, like I feel like the lineup is improved than it was last year. No, I don't. I, think I, so. Like I I think to. it's a different lineup than it was last year, but I I don't think it's a good enough lineup. You need honestly. So you're projecting. Uh, I don't know what like what are you doing in that scenario? You need you got Nathan Lucas playing. Left you need field? two in a trade piece, man. You need two in a trade piece. I don't think of who the hell. I don't think Roden's enough to play the outfield. Can Davis Schneider play the outfield? Like, can we make that happen? Sure, but then who's playing third base? Oh, you know what? I think in that scenario, say the only thing that happens is you sign Reese Hoskins. Hoskins, I think you move Cav to left. You put Davis at two. Nate's face beams confidence. Yeah. I mean, it's that. not. This, this is a better team than last year. I think it's a better lineup. <laughs> I think you're okay. you're taking. No, it's fucking. Here's my not. thing. You're, Here's you're my thing. Reese Hoskins and being like, "Hey, David Schneider, do do it again. Do your thousand OPS like for the whole season this time." Yeah, like, I I think it's sustainable for sure. But my I don't thing is, think that's a better lineup just because the magnitude of the pieces you lost. It doesn't matter. It's just dude, the fact that you're losing. Well, what were they offensive starters? Two and a trade piece. Brandon Belt was your Brandon best Belt was fucking yeah. offensive player, <laughs> which is not good. It's not good. You're really banking it, on Vlad no, getting had, better and he had like George an getting back. OPS. He had an 850 OPS. Yeah. So I I Reese Hoskins you. probably comes in around an 850 OPS. So you're net net there. You're losing Chapman, Kiermaier, and Witt. I'm saying this Witt now. carried this team for parts of the year. Fucking Kiermaier was a stud all year. Probably best nine later in baseball this mm-hmm. year. And Chap. Sorry, Connor. Chappie was great at the start of the year and was like not good the rest of it, but mm-hmm. he still was an above average hitter on the season just because of his April and May. I keep saying this. I will say this until it happens. Two in a trade piece. That's yeah. the only way I'll I don't know who's available as a trade piece. Jorge Polanco, mm-hmm. uh, Max Kepler. The mm-hmm. fucking Jays checked in on Christian Yelich, apparently. Like that's interesting. Willie Adamas. That's the first name you said that actually got me excited. Willie Adamas, like you're, you're telling me Christian Yelich gets you more excited than Willie Adamas? No, then Max Max Kepler and fucking... I think Jorge Polanco. 
of the four of the four names that I said, Polanc- Kepler is the one that excites me the least. I I, I, I want nothing to do with Max Kepler. I don't yeah, know why that's a fucking I. name everyone wants. Be, dude, because it's been for years. Because it's it, it, it's just kind of like it's I'm gonna it's less it's kind of like the Diamondbacks in a way. It's like you have eight outfielders and this guy's the one that's gonna be leaving soon. So fuck it, go get him. Like yeah, look at how well that worked. Okay, well that's different. We don't have another fucking. Stud. We don't have another another Ricky Tiedemann for for fucking Max Kepler for Max Kepler. Sure. Um, but no, Jorge I don't think Jorge there's Polanco. one move that's gonna make the, like that's it. They're gonna make you one move need, and move on. You need three offensive pieces, I think. Also, or two, two of the upper echelon ones, and then you kind of fill it in and hope the kids break. Like the kids like, could would, be good. How would you guys feel if the Jays went into the year with Bellinger? With Bellinger in in center or left, take your pick. Left. Uh, uh, Kevin Biggio with Kevin Biggio and or David Schneider at second, or Kevin Biggio and David Schneider and at third, take your pick there. And JD Martinez is your DH. I think it's who's playing the other position because I don't want Kevin Biggio and David Schneider playing every day. I think. I I mean, I, if I David really Schneider like is eighty percent of what he was, I, if, I don't. If, if David Schneider is fifty, like fucking sixty percent of what he was. I think you can play him at third. Having Beasley as a Gold Turner. Glove third baseman. I'd rather have Justin Turner than JD Martinez. I'd rather Justin Turner go jump in a lake. <laughs> also, I was going to ask this. Why do you dislike Justin Turner? I, I don't, play, but I'm just so sick of hearing it. He's like 40, three, man. He can still play three positions in the infield, and he doesn't tie up your DH spot. Also, what what do you guys have against Jorge Soler? I got nothing he against just, Jorge Soler. I just do think he's going to get too much money for what he's done in the past. I, I I like the homer power, but I think if you're just going for pure home run power, you just go get Tay Oscar because he's not going to get that much anyways. Also, if you just if you want to go trade for somebody, just go fucking get Isaac Paredes. <laughs> yeah. No. Honestly, maybe. I don't mind Paredes. No, we talked about him last week. If he played in Baltimore, he'd have like oh, fucking oh, two yeah. home runs. Oh, yeah. Brant, if, uh, on baseball, so Brady's finished with 31 home runs. Yeah. If, if you go on baseball savant, you know how they have like expected home runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he played in Baltimore, if his home games were played in Baltimore as opposed to Tampa, he'd have nine home runs. Ooh. Well, he's not playing in Baltimore. He's playing here. <laughs> playing in Baltimore. Fucking I don't home. know. I, I, also, also I, don't, Tampa, I don't trust. <laughs> I don't trust that. Anybody that the Rays let go is going to be good somewhere else. Like, when have they ever let someone go and he got better? Go, Ryan. Uh, Price. Okay. Mm, that's I feel arguable. Like he, I feel like he stayed kind of. Well, I, I'm saying he didn't get worse. Like, yeah, he, he didn't get worse. He, okay. he was here. Well, he, he got just, worse eventually. He kept but going. Yeah. Yeah, but like, like he went to Detroit and was good. He came to us. He was good. He was. Okay. Yeah, I want to say he was good in his first year in Boston, right? Yeah. Um, Did they trade Price? No. They trade. They traded Price to the Dodgers with Mookie. Yeah. Oh, you're talking Tampa? Tampa traded yeah. the Detroit. Tampa traded they did, Detroit. They, the they did trade before, him. He didn't sign. The season before um, he came to us. Okay. He was traded back to the Sevens, I believe. No. Yeah. Okay. But I can like, tell you what the fuck they got. Probably. That's like, why. I, that's why I was thinking. About, I can't remember. Brandon Lowe and. I mean, they got they got Joe uh, the uh, the Twins got Joe Ryan for half a season at Nelson. Joe Ryan's a good one. Yeah, you're right. Like. I just it just seems like I every really time the Rays give up on someone, me. there's a reason, and it it always shows when they leave. Nathaniel like, Lowe, like literally, literally, you can think about this now. Fucking who did who did uh, Isak Paredes get traded for? Fucking Austin Meadows. Yeah, yeah. Austin Meadows isn't on the Tigers anymore. Yeah, he played, that like, was 15 that was games. enough. Though. Like that yeah, was, it was. Didn't he have like severe anxiety and shit? So like, mm-hmm. that's like that's a they just know, man. The Rays have like insider knowledge on everyone. I don't understand. Which is why I, I'm like, I would hope you know that about your player. Mm-hmm. They know uh, that about every player, though. Like the bring the people they bring in. They brought in who were the two pitchers? Like Rasmus. No, you know what? You know what the Rasmus best one is. Springs. Best example recently is Willie Adamas. Yeah, Willie Adamas got better. Needed to get rid of him, like for to make room for better. Franco. And in in but, straight high, in straight hindsight, I think Willie Adamas. They still like Willie Adamas. They <laughs> would probably rather have Willie. They probably like Willie Adamas there than a prisoner. Yeah. Is he um, in prison? Not yet. We know nothing of that. Like, we, <laughs> hey, we're probably not going to know fucking, anything. Who's he's the other guy? Felipe Vasquez. Felipe he's Va- in I prison. Think Felipe, I think Felipe Vasquez is, is getting out. He's yeah. out this year, or next year, or something. I think like? he's out this year, or next year. Yeah. How the fuck did we get here? Um, I don't know. Spiral. But yeah, they. Um, I don't know. I think. Also, I'm I sick. wouldn't hate to see Isaac Paredes. 
I wouldn't hate it, but there's better. But there's better options, and I don't know what that cost is. Like, also, can we say this right now? Fuck off with the Jonathan India shit. Piss off. Yeah, I don't see. Go that. get something. I don't hate it. There's I don't four hate better Jonathan India. There's like three better guys on the Reds you could go get. Prices. Yeah, but I don't think you're getting one of the other three guys. Also, why the fuck are they signing Candelario? That's what I'm saying. The Reds. The Reds. I missed. I you don't, have no LV Marte. I stopped paying and attention Spencer to the Spencer Steer. Uh, and Ellie. And CES. And India. And McLean. And Encarnacion Strand. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. The Reds are fucking weird. <laughs> Go get Joey Votto. <laughs> Give me Votto. Belly. I'm an adult at that point. Fuck. Give me Belly, Teo, Votto. Someone else to just fill a bench role. Put Ernie Clement on the bench. Yes, Nate. Um, where are you playing those three players? I don't know. Teo's in left. No, Belly's in left. Teo's okay. DHing. Okay. Joey Votto's, Votto's the just there to hang out. <laughs> Votto's, yeah. the Votto's doing the okay like, blue days. I, on the I really love that your first go. iteration of this lineup didn't include Cody Bellinger because Teo yeah, was going to play left. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> like, You're right. It probably didn't. If you, now that you think about it, it probably doesn't include Dalton Varsho. <laughs> Maybe I was going to bench Varsho. I don't know. Also, Varsho can catch trade Kirk for. Which I, I have a bone to pick with one of one of you. I don't remember who said this in the group chat. Okay. Who the fuck said Cody Bellinger would lead off? I might have. Are you high? You could lead off. He didn't There's have the, like his numbers were not spots. Last year. There's like five other spots that you could bat him before lead off. Cody I Bellinger trust him more of his lead off hitter than Cody Spider. Bellinger would hit. No, if you want to have somebody else lead off, that's not George Springer. Bobuchet. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Bo, Did you see Bellinger's Bo, like actual Bo, like the breakdown Cody, of Bellinger's Vlad, numbers last year? I, I I did, and he turned into I a give, contact hitter. Do you think I give a fuck? So if that's where I he heard, finds success, was, that's a leadoff hitter. His expected was Dan O'Dowd on FT, I believe. It was his two strike approach was the huge change because his, his exit velocity went way down, and he was just slapping the ball over the park with two strikes. Yeah. He um. The only he, he, he had a four something slugging percentage on balls low and away outside of the zone. The that's only, perfect. The, okay. But he was insane. The big but thing he hit like 30 home runs too, didn't he? Like that's yeah. not your leadoff hitter. That's... The big thing that scares people with Cody Bellinger is his expected numbers. That's yeah, what stunk. He, no, his, the his... big thing that scares people with Cody Bellinger is good and rookie of the year, good MVP, two Bad. black holes, yeah. and then good. I don't think he was good in his second year, was he? He was and like, no, he, was, he was, he was good. He was good. Was he? he has. I think in the in the scheme, I thought there was good, a drop off before he came back to MVP level. In the scheme of good to bad, mm. there's four good, three bad. All right. I mean, four, yeah. okay, four good, two bad, one is twenty twenty. So I don't really know how to take that into account. Right. Like, granted, I did bring this up on Twitter. The one bad he hit stats like now you don't one thirteen. I'm I just pulled it on my ass, but that's pretty close <laughs> to what he hit. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay. So the in twenty seventeen. He hit two. He had a 9.33 OPS with 39 home runs and 97 RBIs as a fucking rookie. That is insane. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, hit 2018. Uh, he had an 8.13 OPS but still had 25 home runs and 76 RBI, batting 260. And, and then okay. Uh, then 2019, fucking bad. At 3.05, had an OPS of of 1,047 home runs, 115 RBI. I think he hit a triple with his pants around his ankles too. Though. Yeah, and and played. That played man it. does not not exist anymore. No. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, no. 2020, he had a 788 OPS. He batted 239, had 12 home runs and 30 RBI in 56 games. So, did have a did have a beautiful fucking home run in the NLCS. Do, do the next year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In 2021, he played 95 games. He had an OPS of 542. He had 10 home runs and 36 RBIs. Batted 165. 165. That's, uh, that's, that's not great. Uh, he had an OVP year. that's like barely good average. Do it again. 2022. Do it again. 2022 was was an improvement. Uh, he, had a, he, had a, he, he got his OPS over 100 points higher. So that's that's Six, great. 654. 654. hard when you were in batted, the fives. Batted 210. Still hurt. had 19 home runs. <laughs> like, and still played pretty like a gold glove center field. I don't think he won it, but he's fucking really good. Um, and then He was hurt. Year, 
Dude, you played hurt the whole year. That's a big thing that I, I I said on Twitter. He was coming off of like the shittiest type of fucking shoulder injury, yeah. and it kind of really took him like a couple it years. Them. Yeah, it de- it derailed him. And so we got this. This was kind of like with the Cubs. I think this was the first offseason where he was like, "I am healthy." I'm a fucking. He's a very different player than he was. Oh, he like I'm not disagreeing with you there. He batted. I, uh, it makes he, me nervous, but I, play, I, yeah. I think it's the only move that makes sense at this it point. Is, at this, it's the only one. It, yeah. Like he batted 307, uh, <clears throat> at 881, he had 26 home runs and 97 RPI. Now, like I said, people are shitting bricks because his expected stats were fucking so terrible. Much. It was uh, not terrible, but it's like, oh boy, it's a big drop off. So, like I said, he batted 307, but his expected batting average was 268. That's because he took the two strike approach yeah, he and just, he was just slapping balls the other way. Yeah. Uh, his his slugging last year was 525. His expected was 434. So, I'm not paying him $250 million. Oh, fuck no. No, 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 no. Like, where is he going anywhere else? I don't think. How old is he? He is 20. Maybe 27, 28. He's 28. He's a, he's so, 250. Is I'm, I'm assuming 25 a year for 10 years. I would I would assume. I'm not giving him 10 years. I keep I, I keep saying years. I keep saying this for 15. Sure. I'm saying, if you give him the Simeon contract, give him an opt out. I don't even know what the Simeon contract is. Seven for 175. Sure. Give him a like, five year deal with an opt out after the Springer or the Simeon deal, and you're laughing. Yeah, like, but based on reports, he's not taking that. He's not taking that. Yeah, he's not taking that. I don't know if anyone's giving him two fifty. I I think. I think if 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 you do, you're really regretting that. You're balking if it's like, I don't think the. I think anything is like reasonable as long as it's like two two. I think two twenty five is like where you're like fucking. This is the farthest we're going, depending on the years. Like man, if if you're at two twenty five, you might as well go two fifty. Like that's not a stretch at that point. And also, here's like the thing is now that you've granted it was a unicorn budget, but now that you've we've seen Rogers with like Rogers willingness to fucking. I think spend that's money, about to make things so much worse for the Toronto Blue Jays because you know they have seven hundred million dollars just sitting there. Granted, and I Shohei get it. Is a Shohei's unicorn. a different beast, and he's gonna make you that money back. But, but the, the average, World Series title in Toronto might also make you a good chunk. It's not of gonna happen, boys. The, yeah, I know. Oh, There's you, no chance this happens. Oh, this is what we're saying. But like the perception from most Blue Jays fans, you're yeah. about to spend seven hundred million on this motherfucker. Yeah, boys. it's it's, been, it's like, not that I think it's what they're gonna do. I just think it looks really bad seeing as they had money a minute ago, and now it's like, well, we don't really have that money. We just yeah. had it for him. Like, it's tough. It's a tough look, and I don't want to see it. But I think it's what's gonna happen. It's also going to feel like shit when the beginning of the offseason was the Blue Jays are prepared to do and something big have... and we there's nothing big left. Also, that Toronto Sun newspaper that's like the Jays are swinging for the fences. It has Juan Soto and Shohei Otani on it. We swung and missed. <laughs> Just like the Blue Jays with the bases loaded, we swung and missed. I don't know. Okay. We got anything else on the Blue Jays? I don't think so. I think man. we can move on here. Yeah. What are we doing? I I have no. I was wondering, did you semblance. guys want to do a head to head? Did you want to do it like? We're already How long has it been? Over an hour, an hour in. Are we really? Jesus. Yeah. There's nothing that. Let's be real here. There's nothing to talk about in the offseason. Nobody fucking matters right now. Yeah, we like, gotta do there's... a draft still. We said we're doing a draft. That's what I mean. We can do a draft. We still have time after that, and I don't. Well, let's care see how long the draft goes. About any of these fucking signings. This is Who signed? Great. You want me to run through it? Joe uh, Holy, uh, Seth Lugo to Kansas City. Betancourt oh, okay. went to Miami. The, the Royals, Royals are gonna win the Joe World Holy. Series. Seth Lugo, sure. Kansas City. The Royals are winning the World Series. Will Smith. Rowdy went to Pittsburgh. Good for him. Uh, Chafin of the Tigers. Don't care. Hedges no. to Cleveland. Don't care. Don't care. That's what I mean. Um, uh, Tyler O'Neill got traded to Boston. I don't know if that happened after uh, you guys caught Friday, Boston. I believe. That, that's Did I not neat. put that in? No. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot no. about that one. Uh, there was the another. Yank- the Yankees made a trade. The it was fucking the Braves. The Braves traded for Max. Um, uh, the Stassi. They Stassi traded for Stassi and, and, and proceeded to trade and Stassi. David Fletcher and Fletcher and Fletcher. And they proceeded well, to they trade traded, Max Stassi. They traded one of the guys. Who did they trade for Stassi and Fletcher? It was one of the guys they got. It was Evan. Wasn't White. Evan White, part of it. Yeah. yeah. 
it was Evan White who they got from the Jared Kelnick deal. The Braves are doing such a weird deal. The Ke- the Stassi Kelnick the deal White was that after? Yeah, fucking no, battery of Max, Max Stassi and Corey Lee. The Bra- if the Braves get the Braves you, don't, having don't unpack your like. Don't even hop on a plane. No, just stay there stay and wait home. till the next team you go to. That's it. All right, there's your off season so far. That is it. Yeah, did you guys want to do the head to head or the draft? We'll do both. Let's I just want to do the draft. Let's do the draft first. Okay. I, I need to it. Google this because I did no preparation. Yeah, I yeah, didn't either. Other than other than like... other than the best one one ever. I prepared. I, I prepared a head to head just in case we needed it. So Perfect. it's a, if you guys scroll like literally all the way to the bottom, I have it. I have it no, set up already. No cheating. No, 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 dude. There's no fucking answers on it. Like, oh, okay. Connor Brandt. Nate. All right. Randomize in three, oh. two, Juan. Ah! I'm going first. <laughs> I'm 100% going last. You're going last. <laughs> okay. Connor second. So. so we're de- fictional baseball players is what yes. we're doing. Yes. We're not. Are we actually building a full team? But that's what I'm saying. Because, like, there's not enough people to, for us it's to so remember doable. off the cuff, man. It's going to be tough. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm looking at it. I'm, I Googled top best fictional baseball players of all time. And I'm, I haven't heard of half of these people. Yeah, dude, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, I forgot you don't watch movies. Me? I do. I watch, really. dude. Dude, you can watch a lot of movies and still not know who some of these motherfuckers are. Like <laughs> Babe Ruth is probably the best fictional baseball player, right? Do you know who number ten is? On on are you talking on about this the, list? On this list, it's by Bleacher Report. Yeah, it's fucking what have you, Brant? Have you ever heard of the movie Summer Catch? No. Okay, your fucking case well, rest. Ryan Dunn's number ten. Case yeah, from rest? Summer from Summer Catch. It's fucking Freddie Prince Jr. Like nice. Do you know who number nine is? Oh my god! <laughs> have you, Brent? Have you ever heard of the Bingo Long Traveling All Stars and Motor Kings? Mm-hmm. Fuck off! No, you haven't. No, but I, I could have had you go on. <laughs> like, yeah. It's fucking. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. We're not. We can't do a whole team. This is also like just movies. I think. I was gonna say. Are we? That's what I was about to ask. Is it just movies? I think we should just do five. Five Good rounds. Chance. Five, five rounds, yeah. five because brand we're not gonna be able to get 27 fucking five. players out of this. The amount of like movies that are about pitchers and pitchers Come alone. On. I think you have to take an infielder, an outfielder, a pitcher, okay, and, and do then, whatever you want, the and then two. do whatever you want and with the last two. Two wild cards, okay, that's fine. Do you have to have a catcher? No, <laughs> no, I can't think of enough catchers. I, don't I think, think there's, mean, I think there's three. I can think of three. I can, and think, two of of... Them are in, I can think of three, and two of them are in the same movie, yes. There's a, there's a fourth. There's, there's, there's a, a few. There's but... a fourth. There's a fourth. Mm-hmm. There's a fourth. So, Brand, who is your first pick? Uh, first overall might be a bit of a stretch. I mean, this player list is probably gonna be a stretch, though. <laughs> Give me Pablo Sanchez. Oh, oh it's not. Wait, are you wait from backyard baseball? Backyard baseball. He's the greatest fictional right. baseball player of all time. He can play any mm-hmm. position. He's got the most power of any character of all time. Yeah, but the thing about undefeated Pablo is... on the field, also just all around athlete, good at every sport. Give me Pablo Sanchez. Okay. Um... I I hate that all of these picks are probably going to come from like three movies. Um... Fuck it. I need some smoke. I need the old Terminator. I need the jacket. I need the glasses. I need all of it. Give me, give me winning. Give me Ricky Vaughn. Give me Charlie Sheen. One wild thing. So you guys have already all missed. Yeah, because cause we're not fucking doing research. Because there's only one man, one fictional man that is sort of motherfucking perfect game in fictional major league Brand, baseball. Are you writing these down? No. <laughs> what and the that fuck? is, and that is one Billy Chapel himself. Okay. He's also a hundred. I don't care. Like, he was young once, but he threw a perfect game. Oh, he went out yeah, on but top. like he was okay. There's just no vibes. Go. There's no vibes. There's no vibes. There's no vibes. There's no vibes there. 
Billy Chappell. How is many rich... times can we Billy take Chappell... Kevin Costner in this draft? Billy Chappell is the rich hill of fucking movie characters. <sighs> Why did I just delete this? <laughs> I just deleted my tab here. Uh, nice. Billy, yeah, Billy Chappell is the rich hill of fictional baseball players. <laughs> like... Yeah, but he doesn't have a perfect game. Nate, if you don't do what I hope you do here, I'm going to be very disappointed in you. I go back to back. Yeah. Which which one should I go with? There's only one. One that needs to be taken. I don't know who you're talking about, if I'm being honest. Okay. You can create the greatest battery of all time. Like, are you saying I can't remember oh, I, John I C. Bradley's name from? I know. No, <laughs> no, yeah. I, I know no. what Brad's talking about. <laughs> I do too. Well, it's between two. Do you know there's, his name? Like, there's two options here. There's one there, option. There's one, dude. There's one option. I'm so fucking out to lunch. Yeah, you're right. Brant. Yeah. I mean, not Brant. Nate. Brant. I, I'm gonna. I'm, okay. I don't. I. I'm not sure why. I thought uh, Tom Berenger was Kevin Costner. Um. Not sure how I got there, but yeah, we're we're gonna take we're taking Crash Davis. Yes, <laughs> thank you, you know, dude. You have the Kevin Costner battery. I was like, I sat there thinking, I'm like, what are they talking about? Like, like, there's two options for Kevin Costner here. There's only well, I mean, he plays another role, but I, I they have him on this list I'm looking at too. But he's in uh, Field of Dreams, but like, fuck, he's not he's good. good. He's on this. What list are you looking at? I'm on a different list. I'm on ranker. Okay, so I, is it me? Yeah. I am taking the man that many would consider the Shohei Otani of fictional baseball players. This man, he was a gifted pitcher back in 1923. Unfortunately, he got shot. But he comes back 16 years later as one of the sweetest swinging fucking hitters ever knock the lights out give me the natural give me roy hobbs okay you're just going off the you literally have oh, one what? and two on my list right now i've also never seen the natural i've never up. seen the natural. i haven't seen it in no. years i've Dude, never seen it so fucking good and i'm taking never first seen it. i just like to point out i'm trying to win. i'm taking vibes i'm also, I'm also oh trying. speaking of vibes give me willie mays hayes the most Mother ultimate fucker. vibes guy <laughs> of all time <laughs> shit you piece of already. shit. Uh, but I want. Uh, fuck. Who was the first one? Wesley Snipes. First one was Wesley Snipes, right? Yes, the first one was Wesley yeah. Snipes. The second one was Omar Epps. Yeah, no, give me Wesley Snipes. Don't give me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him. Uh, fuck. Give me Benny the Jet with my third pick. I think I've got. Where did Benny? Was, did Benny, Benny pitch? Wasn't Benny an infielder? He's an infielder, right? He definitely hit, so he wasn't a pitcher. I have, I have pitcher and an outfielder right now. I don't even know what I have. I've got a Pablo that I can put anywhere. I've got Benny's an infielder, and I've got what's his name? You're a piece of shit. Willie Mays Hayes is an outfielder, so I'm gold. Pablo, gold you have to take I a want. legit catcher and pitcher. You can't put Pablo one of those two. You tell me now that I've got three fucking characters out of the way. <laughs> Did you try to cheat, bro? If, Wasn't Benny the Jet a shortstop and yeah. Willie Mays is an outfielder? Like, Mays. we never said we had to take a catcher. I thought we did. I thought we no. agreed you had to take a catcher. No, no. pitcher, infield, outfield, and two well. Oh, what the fuck? Nate, you, just you took a catcher because it's way your more fun. Up like we had it. Um, I thought it was way more fun taking a catcher. It is fun taking a catcher. I might still take a catcher. I'm not against it. I think a couple I'm just... great ones out there. There is a few. There's a few big names on the board. There is. And I feel like I got a I fucking I'm actually really mad at you. I don't know what. So means. if we aren't doing a catcher, then you uh, don't know what it means. Hold on. I don't know what this means off the top of my head, Brant. Hey, if we aren't doing a catcher, Crash Davis counts as my infielder then, right? Technically. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing. Nate, you gotta know. Don't know no, you. I really don't. You've, got, I don't you've know never you seen Angels in the Outfield. Not in a long time. Fuck not, both of you, man. You haven't watched movies. Seen the Natural. Shut don't up care. about us haven't seen movies. Don't care. That's the only one on this list oh, they haven't seen. 
fu- dude he's been i have at seen me. it just not in years he's been staring at me in the Iconic. face and i i i would take him later but i think brant's a piece of shit and would take him um ladies and you gentlemen ladies and gentlemen the greatest cuban export this side of the 1990s he can't hit a fucking curveball the same fuck is just going off the same movie <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> pedro serrano is my pick <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. I was, I, it I was taking him next, so that's a that's good. What, I, that's exactly like that's exactly why I was going to. <laughs> it was between Benny the Jet and Pedro Serrano for me, so that was. You're, I hate the. Uh, you took Benny the Jet, right? I did take Benny, did take Benny the Jet. Do you want to make a trade? I'll give you Pedro Serrano for uh, Wesley Snipes. No. <laughs> no. I mean, no. Why would I do that? <laughs> you can have the guy that wasn't Wesley Snipes. I'll give you <laughs> him. Fuck. Wait, can I take Major League Two over? <laughs> yeah, I don't want him. He sucked. Yo, okay. What the About fuck? This list I'm on has two people from Summer one. Catch on it. What the hell is Summer Catch? Is that our homework? <laughs> we gotta watch Summer Catch. We gotta watch one movie that isn't that is on this list that we haven't seen. Okay, so I'm up. Mm, yeah. Give me. Oh fuck! I just forgot his name. <laughs> fuck me. Love um. That. Um. Oh my god, this is fucking Kenny Powers. <laughs> Kenny, oh, Speaking fucking of vibes. Kenny Powers. Fuck. That was my next pick. Okay. Okay. So uh, I, I gotta save I gotta save the best for last, I think, here for the voice. I fuck you. I for the vibes. I wanted, for the vibes. I wanted Kenny Powers. I've got two. I don't know where I'm going I here. Go take the go take I've, the asshole rich dude that cheats on his wife. Roger Dorn. Roger Dorn. Pass. <laughs> he doesn't. He um, doesn't feel the ground ball, bro. <laughs> Why would I want that? He so when he cared, as uh, as Crash Davis once said, you can't have fungus on your shower shoes. You can have fungus on your shower shoes when you get to the majors. Then you're colorful. Not before you get there, Abby Calvin Nukalouche. You. F- you don't need another pitcher, you piece of shit. That's fine. We Wild make card. limits on it. I know. That was I do. Oh, I hate you. Bro, I have three pitchers. Yeah, he really does. You got to think. What do you not? What do you need now? An outfielder. You need an outfielder. And I don't know that there's like any great. There one. is. Um. Don't worry. Wait, what do I need? I have. Oh, I have everything, so I can just take whatever now. Okay. Um. Need a fucking pitcher. There's none on the board. Oh. No, that I can't take him. He's real. Um. What would would it would you would you object to me saying Chadwick Boseman from Forty Two? Yes. Yes. Why? That's a fictional person. You're just gonna take the Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, take, I'll take King T'Challa. He played some sport in that movie. Um, no, shit. Um, you mean the t- the cast of Twilight? <laughs> actually, <laughs> change actually, the whole thing. Uh, Give like, me Robert Pattinson. Give me Pat- the fuck Man. was his name? Edward. Edward. Yeah. Edward. Um, what are you talking about. You gotta a, watch the movie. We've been over this. There's, a, scene, this there's a scene in Twilight that has it like they're playing uh super. You know, have you ever heard of the Bigs, like the video game? They're just doing that. They like, yeah. just jump it off a of shit and <laughs> they're vampires, so they're fast and they just they're like fast and they can hit the ball far. Yeah. Um Are we going off ability or just vibes? Like, what are we doing here? Because I'm—I like, don't know. We're just like, drafting five players. Because I was gonna take someone. I think he's dead in the movie. So, um, oh, I'm gonna give so many away in my last pick. God, I'm just damn gonna it. give you all sorts of stuff. Um, you know what? I couldn't get him because Brant took him, but. I need a little bit of a deranged psychopath in my team. Uh, actually, I, I completely am reading this wrong. I've never actually seen this movie. So that's crazy. Uh, give me from the movie, na- the fan, give me Bobby Rayburn, Wesley Snipes. <laughs> 
You just wanted Wesley Snipes, eh? I just wanted Wesley Snipes. I've never even I've never heard of the fan. Me either. Now, have you seen Connor's it, Connor? Or are you it. just picking him because it's Wesley Snipes? I've seen I have heard of the fan. I've seen some stuff in it, but a little call me, call me. Okay. I got back to back picks here. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do I, to round it out. I'm gonna take Ham Porter because having a catcher is never a bad thing. He's a dog. Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now you don't have any options the... left for pitchers here. No, I'm gonna take oh, it to the I'm gonna... a pitcher yet. I'm... Yeah, this is where I'm at. I need a pitcher. Uh, there's I'm... I think there's rub... an obvious one. Are you gonna rub Crisco on the ball? I'm between no, see, I'm not even at that yet. I'm between Mel Clark from Angels in the Outfield because I just want to do this. Yeah, I already had a pitcher, I or I'm going that. Gus Bus. Who's from Gus Bus? You don't know Gus Bus? Oh, I didn't know that was his last name. It's not. You're 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 missing one here, like big buddy from what's the I what's the kid's name from Rookie of the Year? Henry Rowan Gardner. That's the one. He's not even on this list that I'm looking at. It's brutal. I'm taking Mel Clark because he's a dog, <gasps> and it's I just want to stand in the dugout and do this and have none of you understand. Give me Mel oh. Clark. Also, rest in peace, G baby. I, I wanted him on the team, but what a movie! Yeah, the first movie I actually I cried. couldn't get him in, so was I just wanted to say I that. Cried watching, so it's a heartbreaker, bro. I don't know if either of you are gonna pick him, and then, but rest in peace, G baby. Uh, Connor, you're back up. Who's your last pick? See, this is where I was gonna take Kenny Powers, but like. I didn't realize that Nate was a piece of shit. Um, shit. Hmm. I don't want to just take my entire team from one fucking movie, but I already really have. So it's like, <laughs> fucking. Take fucking the guy that I got from the Giants. Take Jake Taylor. Fuck. How's Jake Taylor not got drafted? Yet? I don't know. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, I was thinking Jake Taylor. Like, that's why I didn't want to take. I didn't want to take everybody fucking major league. Take Jake Taylor, dude. It's a good I mean, movie. He lays down a bun. He like he plays the sacrifice. He is a fucking stalker. But you know what? Sometimes he comes out that. of retirement to play for the boys. Jake Taylor. He is like one knee. You've locked it in there. Jake Taylor is my favorite. okay. Jack so, Parkman would have been another good one. I thought about Jack Parkman yeah. when we. <gasps> No! 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 This does not fucking count. Yes, it does. I'm calling bullshit. No, you cannot call bullshit. We're vetoing this entire draft before I. No, This is bullshit. That's a real. That's a real person. It is a fictional baseball player, though. I can't click the link, but I don't know who this is. I'm taking John Dowd. Brand. It's fucking. Barry Bonds was not able to be in those fucking video games, so they called him John Dowd. Barry Bonds was able to be in the video games. He just didn't Barry want Bonds, to. Nope. Barry Bonds opted out of the Players Association. So in 2003, before MLB 04. So they created the character John Dowd Fucking based bullshit. off of so, one of their so, producers or something. So okay, and I guess this, he was, he was, was a real he, person. No. It's a real person. If it's based off a producer, it's a real person. If it's I'm sure the- Pablo Sanchez is fucking based off someone. No, it's just a okay. straight up racist stereotype about this little guy. Okay, so by this <laughs> no, logic, but anyways, can... oh, he was in 04. He was fine. 2005, goat status. That was the first MLB game I had. Unreal. Okay, so by this logic, can I take Reggie Soccer? Because that's just Barry Bonds <laughs> in MLB The Show 18. What? I never heard of that. I've never heard of that either. There's a in MLB The Show Diamond Dynasty. They didn't. They couldn't get Barry Bonds, so mm. they made a card and called him Reggie Stalker. It was it was Barry Bonds. It literally was just Barry Bonds. They couldn't, huh. but they didn't call him Barry Bonds. Can I take then, that then? Since we're doing this bullshit, well, it's too late now. You, you took could five have, guys. Yeah. Motherfuck, this is. Um... <laughs> I like that you put Snipes version. <laughs> I just looked at the list. You got to be specific because actually... man, do John Dowd is the greatest fictional baseball player of all time. He might have been based on a real person, but he was fictional. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about the fall off of Willie Mays Hayes from movie to movie? Like easily the best character of the first one, and then easily like the worst in the second one. Because he's no Charlie Sheen, best character. 
Yeah, but like in, in like eh. his character wasn't really that entertaining. It was Wesley, just like he had the the whole mantra around him was great, but like Willie Mays Hayes had some lines in that first one. And then the second one he just sucked. If we're being honest, the, like aside from like Jake Taylor, mm. fucking Ricky Vaughn is like the most boring character in Major Yeah, League. That's what like, I'm saying. He didn't really like do much. Willie, like fucking you fucking you put Crisco on the ball and Badge so that that guy is that guy's cool. interesting. That guy's interesting. What's the guy, the Asian guy in the second movie with the marbles? I forget. But... I forget his name. Marbles. No you marbles. Got no marbles. No marbles. But like, that's, yeah, like that's like Roger, character. like Roger Dorn, piece of shit. More interesting than fucking Ricky Vaughn. Interesting Vaughan. character. Yeah, Peter I don't Serrano. know about that. Ricky Vaughn. Serrano. 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 Serrano was a much. He wanted yeah. to sacrifice a live chicken. What's it, is it, is I'm talking name? about Dorn, not Serrano. I know, but what? Okay, what was the? Uh, I can't remember. What the fuck was his name? Lou Brown, the manager. Yes. Way more interesting than Ricky Vaughn. Where are Hudson's no, I don't leaves so. in this league, son? Like, um, but hey, guys, guys, I just like you're not to much of a dresser. I just like to share it quick. I have clearly won this draft because <laughs> we, by you know, far, we, we kind of just went off movie characters. You brought in. Oh, no, your team is Kevin Cosner. <laughs> it's Kevin Cosner and Perfect. a fake person, and like that's based off a real person. Uh, you're gonna tell me no one else in the I am draft pissed that you took a fake person that was based off a real person. If I'm, being I'm pissed honest, that you took Nuke Lelouch. I have the best player in the draft. I don't know why we're no one is John Dowd. Dude, my team is the Atlanta Braves. We're hitting nothing but piss missiles. I have Pablo Sanchez. Roy Hobbs yeah, and Pedro the Serrano. goat. The original just, goat. I have I'm just the... tossing Serrano deuces all day. I have hey, and you know what he did? He, he fucking hit him at the end of Major League One. And what's Bobby Rayburn do? Bobby Rayburn? He's a slick field and center. For, dude, he's you basically. Don't even know who he is. No, Bobby Rayburn is Willie Mays Hayes, but Willie Mays Hayes. He's, if Willie, he's, he's if Willie Mays You're Hayes. just hoping he can be Willie Mays Hayes. No, he's if, all he, no, 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 no. He's if Willie Mays You've Hayes. never seen the movie. No, no, no. Shut up. Know. Shut up. He's if Willie Mays Hayes was what able to actually. What team did he play for, Connor? A, the Giants. You just looked that up. No, no there was a picture on the was thing, it? guys. Okay. <laughs> we were both on. All right, he didn't have one on mine. Oh, that's brutal. Well, Bobby, Bobby Rayburn. That's so brutal. You've got Jake Taylor, who's fucking putting 17 bags of ice on his knees to get him through a game. You know what? But he calls a good fucking game, and he does the... He's a team player. Shout out to Squints. Didn't find his way onto the list, but still a dog. Shout out, shout out Jack Parkman. Yeah. Yeah, Jack Parkman's another honorable mention. Uh, Henry Rowan Gardner didn't find a spot. Maybe just a little too young to crack their roster. Um, you have no, 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 no. You can't say that with Pablo Sanchez on your fucking team. You can't do that. Well, yeah, but he did, age doesn't matter for him. You also have Benny. You have children. And you have ham. Th- and ham. <laughs> your entire team is kids. <laughs> like, dogs. It's kids. They're all and, dogs. Actually, no. By the end of that movie, they're all adults. No, your team is literally just. What if Wesley Snipes ran a daycare? <laughs> That's what your team is. Like, no, I got who's the other one? You have Willie Mays Mel Hayes. Clark. Yeah, Mel Clark. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry. If if Wesley Snipes ran an old age home. Shout out Webman. The kids came in with little Who? like Webman from uh Little Big League. You should start Webman. No, nothing. No. Shout out Lou. Lou married uh Billy's mom. Now Billy's mom has a kid in the majors. So shout out Lou. You guys never seen uh, Little Big League? You guys got to do some fucking homework, man. I've seen Little Big League. Do you not remember any part of that movie? Yeah. Right. Do you remember Billy's mom? Lou sucks. Lou almost won it for them. But I thought okay. Griffey robbed him. Is it? Is it the mom from Little Big League or the mom mm-hmm. from... What's the one with Henry Rowan Gardner? Rookie of the Year. I thought it was the mom from Rookie of the Year. That's Pete Armstrong's mom. Mm, I know the mom from Little Big League is a major leaguer's mom. I don't remember whose it is, though. It's Pete Crow Armstrong. Is it? Yeah. That's all I know. I know Lou was this close to giving him the win. Don't tell me he sucked. Shadow Bowers. We didn't get that. We didn't get that fucking. Yankee guy from for the love of the game, who was a dog. The free sick, the Italian guy. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I've seen that one. Okay, are we are we gonna do the head to head? 
Yeah, we got a little bit of time. I I made it this time, and okay. it's the thing is I like when I say this, it sounds like it could be potentially a little easy. So I'm gonna get, instead of giving you guys strikes, I am going to allow you guys up to five hints. Okay. Up to three to five hints. Why don't you just tell us what the fuck it is first? What since we're in the free agent circle, uh, I am going to ask you guys to name every single team's highest, the player who signed the largest free agent contract for them. Okay, so are we going team by team, alternating guesses, or how is, or can you just go anywhere? It, I, think, you can, I feel like we should just be able to go anywhere. You can go anywhere. And I'm saying up okay. to three to five hints, depending. And mm-hmm. before you say anything, it is not highest extension. It is right. free agent. Fuck. Right. And they hit like with those hints, you can ask for I don't know how far I want to do this. You can ask for year or how much money. Okay. So can I ask who it is? Not position. <laughs> I will, I can give you money money your position. I'll, I'll like basically anything but the name. name. Anything okay. but the name. One of those three. Money so your I position. Can't ask you who the player is. Got it. But you can ask. I'm losing this one. Three to five. Three or f- three or five. I I, I appreciate that you gave you gave us a topic that's going to put you back in against Nate to try and get some revenge. No, but I, honestly, I don't know. Like, I don't know. When I, I when I any. when I looked this up, honestly, a lot of mm-hmm. these you guys should just know. Okay. Well, I guess I got to randomize this thing. Eh? So. Uh, what the fuck back. should What's be up? winners but when have we ever done that King court we've never done that that's what it should be no you're just saying that because you don't know so, any other answers we should keep that going forward so if you uh <laughs> if you gentlemen would scroll all the way down to the um on the i'm here notes, i I'm do here. have the uh i okay. do have the bra- i have the thing there just in case so we can pay attention and follow along you're still right. first anyways nate it doesn't matter okay. so <sighs> okay where are we? All the way down? Oh, whoa! I did this. this Wait, way. we don't have to guess the year, do we? Um, I'm not gonna be able to guess. The no, year. we should just no, do player. No, okay. but I'm just the player. But I, like I said, the you can hit the money, year. money, position. Got it. And, or, got it. Okay, so Nate, you are first. Well, let's go with Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper is correct. Yeah, he signed take... a 330 million dollar contract in the year 2019. Okay, I'm gonna take oh, the and, easy one. And, and, okay, <laughs> and when I say the year, uh-huh. it will be the year, the season that they first played with the team. Fantastic. So for, for example, this is not Wait. a um. For an example, what the fuck? Say the Blue Bro, Jays. None signed... of us are got. None of us are asking for years of hit. Okay. Okay. Fine. fine. I mean, depending. Never what mind. if they haven't played a game for the team yet? <laughs> no, it still it still counts. Okay. Like, Shohei Otani, year... Los Angeles the, Dodgers. Thanks. So. You know what's amazing? That didn't come to my mind until after I picked Bryce. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to take the easy one. That wasn't even my easy one, but I just remembered it now. Hey, I am very confident that George Springer is the highest free agent Blue Jay. Yes, that the, George. Springer that was the easy is. one I was thinking of. <laughs> so. Okay. In the year 2021. Um, now is where everything is wrong. <laughs> Uh, was Alex Rodriguez Texas? Hey, you gotta write. You gotta write who got him beside these here oh, too, yeah. Connor. No, we just know. I have the score. I have, put I'm it. writing. No, I'm writing the score down on my separate sheet. Okay, okay so you're gonna have keep it. tabs it's, for us. It's two one right now. W- was a Rod Texas? Uh, the Texas Rangers was not a Rod. Also, this is this is according to Sarah Langs as of like four days ago. So this is like, I trust Sarah Langs of on ML. This is MLB.com as of. The 9th of December. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm not reasonably confident, but it's like the only one that makes sense. If it's not A-Rod for the Rangers, it's gotta be Corey Seager. It is Corey Seager. Really? 325 million. I was gonna say Prince next, so I wouldn't even have got that one right. It's 3 1. Huh. Well, I'm fucked. You're really not, dude. Come on. Um they got to be all recent for the most part, right? Like nobody's coming um, in from like the eighties. I would. They're all. They're all before the year two thousand. The White or Sox, the Andrew year. Benintendi. Yes, the White Sox is Andrew Benintendi at a whopping so seventy-five million dollars in the year twenty twenty-three or twenty twenty-two, whatever. Fuck, I'm determined. Um, 
the San Francisco Giants and Arson Judge. While technically- <laughs> the Yankees, the Yankees and Aaron Judge. How about that yes. one? <laughs> yes. Okay. He resigned. No. As no, a free agent, because he he was a free. Oh, agent. that counts. Yeah. No shit. That's um, not an extension. That's not an extension. Okay. Because he was free agent, and he'd go to anybody. Damn. Okay. I didn't realize that was a thing. So yes, he signed that in the year twenty twenty three for three hundred and sixty million. So it is okay. Four one or four two. Sorry. Um. It is now brand. Is the Mets Max Scherzer? The Mets is not Max Scherzer. Oh, he wasn't total value. He was just highest AAB. Fuck. Yes, go. This is, sorry, this is going off total value. Obviously. Yeah. I'm going to the Nationals. the Nationals. We're going to go with Mr. Steven Strasburg. L. Steven Strasburg. I'm probably going to spell He didn't that. resign either. Yeah. Oh, so it's fucking in the he went to free agency. <laughs> in the offseason after they won Fuck the World Series. Me, man. So it is 5 to I'm 2. Doomed. There's All okay, the I'll say this, the the contract is... that is like the the latest contract or yeah. like going back in years is 2007. Okay. Is the Padres Manny Machado? Padres is Manny Machado. So, this one still in the game. Yes, it is 5 to I just had one I gapped on. What the fuck's going on? Machado Machado technically has their largest uh, free agent signing and extension. Huh? Do you remember this last... This, oh, because he like, just signed. Because he just re-upped for 350? Yeah. He, he, he was going to opt out, and then they said, wait, 350. Okay. Um, let's go to... The California Angels of Anaheim that play in Los Angeles mm-hmm. with Anthony Rendon. Anthony Tony Mother Rendon. $245 million. Is six the, three. Grant, you are up. Is the Detroit Tigers. Is it Prince Fielder? It is Prince Fielder. Two hundred and fourteen million. I was going between him and Javi. I was just. I thought it was Javi. I was scared that it that was going to be. It's actually six five right now. It's close. Let's go to Colorado with Mister Chris Bryant. Christopher Bryant is yeah. the highest for the Rockies at a one eighty two million dollar contract. That's absolutely disgusting. It is seven five. Is the is the Red Sox David Price? The Red Sox is David Price at two seventeen in the year twenty sixteen. So, if I'm not incorrect, the Arizona douchebags should be Zach Grinky. Yes, it is Zach Grinky. A whopping two hundred and six point five million. Shot in the dark. Is the Orioles Mark Trumbo? The Orioles is not Mark Trumbo. I cannot think of anyone they would have paid. Okay. Just making sure my math was correct on the score. We're good. Is... Ain't you're up. Remember I'm not super hints. confident on any of these right now. Remember, no, you guys do have that. you guys have the hints. You can use yeah, them. yeah, but I haven't had a strike yet, so I want to. We're going. not playing with strikes. There's no strikes anyway. It's, it's no, but I haven't got one wrong yet, okay. so I want to keep going. This is fair. Um, I believe the Astros was Justin Verlander. Nate. You are incorrect. Shit. Did he resign before the end of that season? Mm-hmm. It was, that sucks. It was not a free agent contract. I'm just thinking out loud. Brant? Was, was Garrett Cole traded to the Astros? 
Potter I, can't answer that. I know. I was gonna say, can I? I can't really answer. No, that. I'm just. That's where my thought process is here. And I, I don't know. Uh Jason Hayward to the Cubs. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe I'm saying this. This deep into the thing, we are tied. Okay. Jason Hayward, a hundred and eighty-four million dollars to the Chicago Cubs. <clears throat> The Astros are bugging me, so I'm going to take my first hand on the Astros. And I'm very confident that I know this. Do you so want the year, the position? I want his position. Player. His position, he was a first baseman. Yeah, exactly. Jose Abreu. Is it really? It's not Jose Abreu. What okay. the fuck? Oh, I don't Grant, want to do it. You have the chance to take the lead. Is it Lance Berkman? It is not Lance Berkman. Ah. <sighs> So it's got to be Yuli Gurriel then. It is not Yuli Gurriel. Who the fuck has ever played first base for the Astros? Nate, it is. Did we decide on three or five hints? I. Wasn't it? It's five. Yeah, we'll have to go. Five. We're going to need five. There's so many teams left yeah, on the board. Yeah, five hints is available. I don't know if you want to waste another one on fucking the Astros. Like, so... I've the got Mets... it. So. What's the position for the Mets? Wait, it's Brant's turn? I thought it was Nate, yeah. though. No. Okay, oh, Brant's they turn? just I guessed Yuli. Guess Gurriel. Brant's turn, it is a... I think you would say he's most known for playing center field at that time with the Mets. Never mind. Going way the fuck away from that one. Actually, oh, yeah. I lied. Sorry. Uh, 2005 was the farthest back contract. Oh. Yeah. So. And it's the team we were just guessing at, isn't it? I don't know, is it? You can't tell us that. Uh, it's Nate's turn, isn't it? No, I just got a hint. Oh, okay. you got a hint that sorry. is going That's away from the. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> the hint did not help me at all. Yeah, this is not my guess, but is the reason it's not Kodai Senga for the Mets because he came from overseas, or was he not the contract? He's not the contract. Okay, Kodai Senga did definitely not. I'm gonna. I thought he got a lot of money. I'm gonna get it next. So he got a lot, but he did. It's all good. It. You know it. And if and if if I am wrong, it is because of Connor. Okay. I like that. Uh, blame me for their shit. Um, if I'm wrong, it's your fault. Brant, did you guess yet? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just circling at teams. I don't know any of these, man. Uh. There's a, I will say this right now, there's a fucking, there's still a bunch of gimmies. There's still a bunch. Did Joey sure. Votto sign in the offseason? Joey Votto did not. He no, he re signed. Okay. So that's, that's your guess. So the Mets is just Brandon, right? Mets is what, sorry? Just Brandon? Brandon Nemo? No. No way. No, I didn't think so. So then how, you said primarily a center fielder. Yeah. Curtis so Granderson. That, it is not Curtis Granderson. Really? Fuck. Like, so you are fucked for that? Because unless it is a totally different time period. Okay, then I can't tell you if it's a totally different time period. Unless you ask. So it is Nate, you're back up because Brant can get knocked Just give me Carlos Correa. Fuck off. Carlos Correa for uh, which team? The twins. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I was yes. looking at it the whole time. Yes, Carlos Correa in the year 2023. <laughs> so it is 8 7 8. Brant, you're up. I decline. <laughs> Fucking motherfucker. Do you want to just quit already? What position is the Orioles? The Orioles, uh, he is first base DH. And it's not Mark Trumbo. It's not Mark Trumbo. Is it Mark Reynolds? You're an idiot. It is not Mark Reynolds. They're still playing. They're still paying this motherfucker. Ah, fuck. Chris Ooh, Davis. It is, it is Chris Davis. He signed. I thought he resigned. Well, that's why I didn't guess it. But once he gave you the first base <sighs> part, I knew that. It was in the off season, so it is. It was about nine to seven. Eight. Was the Royals Zach Granke? The Royals was not Zach Granke. So hey, okay. Nate, you're back up. Can really pull away here. Was the Astros Carlos Lee? The Astros fucking the Astros was Carlos Lee. 
My mind went there right away after you said it was for a first baseman and we got those wrong. And then I, as soon as you said 05, I was like, yes, yeah, fucking Carlos Lee. Carlos, I feel like I've taken Carlos three Lee seven, signed right? it in 07. Have I, have I taken three hints? Yeah, I think you, you, had, you had two. You two? had the Mets position and Orioles position. Yes, you have two, you have three hints still. I still have three left? Yes. Okay. Nice. Fucking. Was the Brewers Lorenzo Kane? The Brewers was Lorenzo Kane. Yeah. Uh, a whopping eighty million dollars in the year twenty eighteen. Staying alive. It was Staying alive. Hey, do uh do your boy a favor and give me the year for the Mets. The year for the Mets was two thousand five. And help me. <laughs> That's uh, that has to be Carlos Beltran. That is Carlos Beltran, center fielder. I would yeah, have thought of him I as see, a center fielder. I, would deem I was Carlos thinking Beltran a primary center fielder, like I, at that time. Yes, you're right, but I was thinking it was between Marte and um, what's his nuts? I was like, if you're fucking telling me Marte was primary center fielder over Nimmo, I'm gonna fucking punch you in the head. Hey, it is 11 to 8. When have the Reds ever spent money? That, like never, hint? right? You want a hint? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I just like I'm looking at these teams. I don't remember them signing anyone ever. Like any of them, they just re-sign all their guys. Is the, the no? They tra- is the Braves Marcelo Zuna? The Braves is not Marcelo Zuna. They traded for him, didn't they? Yeah. Yes. Is the Rays honestly Zach Eflin? The Rays is honestly Zach Eflin. Really? It is Zach Eflin oh at my whopping God. $40 million. That's so embarrassing. All of these teams are just giving me fucking fits right now. I like some of them shouldn't be. And I know it, but it's just. Oh, I think I got a good one here. Is the Giants Barry Zito? The Giants is not Barry Zito. Okay. Right, if I told you the earliest fucking contract was 2005, when the fuck was Barry Zito signed? He was still with the Giants in 2010, dude. He uh, was... What year was Moneyball? 04? 03? 03. He was like... So it was after that. His Oakland years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he Nate went... is up. Whatever. Nate is up with a chance to go up five. You both have three hints remaining. Where do I want to go here? Oh, okay. Give me a hint on the Braves. The Braves, do you want money, position, or year? I want position. Position. Um, I think you, again, I think you would know him as a center fielder. Like, I... You would probably know him as a center fielder. Is the best way I could put that. I have a terrible guess, but honestly, same. Okay, go ahead. Same. I don't know if he ever played for the Braves. <laughs> it's he might play for the Braves. I think. <laughs> what is your guess? Oh, yeah, Matt Kemp. He never played for the. No, Braves. it is not Matt Kemp. I think Matt Kemp did play for the Braves. At the end, uh, at some point, the, the position for the Pirates. The position for the Pirates. It is a starting pitcher. AJ Burnett. It is not AJ Burnett. Oh, jeepers! There's a couple here that I'm like, how the fuck have you guys not gotten? <laughs> like, honestly, looking at this, I have no idea who any of these guys are. To be honest. Like I'm not close on any. I don't have a guess for any. There's of them. like, I can't even fucking. There's a couple that you're gonna be like, no shit on, but. Um. Nate, you Rebecca. The Giants isn't fucking the guy they just signed, is it? Uh, it is not Jung Holy. 
Is that a guess? Hold on. What? <laughs> was, that, was that your yeah, guess? Yeah, that was my guess. Sorry. Okay. That was, that was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess. yeah. I will. Okay. I will say this. If 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 they include the if they you technically include the posting fee, mm. then yes, it would have been Jung Ho Lee, but, but we're not, not counting the posting fee in this. Is it Michael Conforto? It is not Michael Conforto. Holy shit! Michael Conforto got like a two year eighteen million dollar deal. Did he? I thought he got a lot more money. Is the Cardinals Dexter Fowler? The Cardinals is not Dexter Fowler. Jesus boy, bring it back up. Nate, Nate is giving you life here. Come on, Brent. What's yeah, but it's, right now? I'm, it is. It is twelve. I'm to eight six years. feet from the edge, and I'm thinking. <sighs> Fuck! I have so many hints on the board too. Like every half the hints. teams left have hints. No, I mean like currently up there, half the teams left still have a hint attached, and I still don't know. Connor, can you tell us uh, who is the Braves? Jeff Francoeur. Uh, the Braves is not Jeff Francoeur, but okay. here, uh, there, center field. Yeah. Um, did you Pirates is that? Pirates is starting pitcher. Yes. And I think that's all the hints. That is it. Yeah. That's all the hints. We guessed the other ones. Yeah. So, uh, did you who did, did you just get Jeff? I Frank said Francoeur. Okay, that is not Jeff Francoeur. That was the one that, like, I'm pretty sure he was a Brave. Is the Pirates Francisco Liriano? The Pirates is Francisco Liriano in the year 2015. Yeah. He signed a $39 million deal. Is the I'm going to go on a limb and guess we haven't gotten the lo- Oh, no, the raise is probably the lowest, isn't it? Um, the lo- no, Dollar the figure? Ra- the raise is not the lowest. It's got to be the A's. I mean, the, the Pirates were lower than the raise. Oh. Oh, true. But you still haven't got the lows. Is it the A's? I can make a confirm right there. So, yes. Because if it wasn't, you'd just say no. <laughs> it's either the A's or the Marlins. Okay, well, the brain, you're up again. I know. You got two hints. Well, I don't have any names in my head, Connor. Right? It's not going to change can, when my turn hints, goes. buddy. You got two. I, the hints are not going to help me at this point. Um, What position is the Giants? The position of the Giants is a starting pitcher. And it's not Barry Zito. It's not Barry Zito. That's not is that your guess again? No, I've already guessed Barry Zito. I'm not guessing him again. Who the fuck do they have on their team right now? Logan oh, Arbery signed. Oh, fuck. They gave that guy quite a bit of money. Yep, I got Giants. Nice. Take, take I'm proud of you, man. Take a stab, Brent. Uh, Matt Cain. It is oh, not, no, it it's is not. not Matt. It's not. not. I know who it is. It's Johnny Cueto, isn't it? it? Is Johnny Cueto. Oh, never mind. I didn't know who it was. In the year 2016, the San Francisco who, who Giants. Who did you have? Jeff Samarja. Jeff... Jesus. <laughs> I remember him getting, him In getting a big deal. In the year 2016, too. Johnny Cueto received a $130 million deal from the Giants. Good Lord. Yeah, he was coming off crushing the Jays in the playoffs. Can I statistically come back and win this thing? If I get um, every single one of them, yeah, right. Is, yeah, we're not that far out yet. I should be up six, I think. Yeah, it's fourteen to eight. So literally, if Nate gets one more, he wins. Right. Brent, you basically have to run the table. Okay, so. fantastic. Yeah. Um, no, one more, and we, and we get tie. There's eight left. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah. So two, two more for Nate to win outright. Sorry, I saw CF and the Braves, and I'm like, I assume it's fucking the player was already there. I have a hint left. Uh, you have a hint left. Yes. What year was the Guardians? The year of the Guardians was going into the 2017 season. Oh, fuck. I'm glad I didn't guess the Guardians then. Yeah, me too. You want to know what my Guardians guess was? Oh, fuck. I was going to say Jose Ramirez, but I think he resigned before, right? I was going to say Josh Bell. Oh, yeah. Brant, you were out of hints. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> How do we miss the fucking? Who are you thinking? I, I'm it's seeing like, all the names. I got an NL I... team. Oh, an NL that's team. What you're talking about. Okay. An NL team that wears red. 
the Cardinals. I don't know who the Cardinals is, man. Dude, three of the four teams left were red. Oh, oh the Reds <laughs> probably wear red. And the, the Braves, Braves, I guess, wear red. The Guardians, depending on the day. <laughs> was Paul Goldschmidt a free agent? Paul Goldschmidt was a trade. Yeah, that's what I thought. Brand so, up. who wasn't it? The Reds has got to be Ken Griffey Jr., right? Have they gone bigger than that? It's not? Fuck. Ken Griffey Jr. Is the Reds Edinson Volquez? The Reds is not Edinson Volquez. I can't remember anyone getting paid by the Reds. You guys have hints. I can like give the you. I don't. One <laughs> Sorry, Nate has hints. Okay. I remember. I don't think he got paid. How have we not got the Braves? Jeez, guys, this is. I'm gonna say this. I, I'm. Give me I, the... hate, I hate that I give you guys the hardest ones. Uh, position for the cards. Position for the cards. Um. Good sign. No, because it's the the player in question. Because it's fucking Brendan Donovan or something. He plays like all of them. The best way to put it, he's an outfielder. He's a corner Uh, outfielder. There, I'll say that. That wasn't helpful. (laughs) Fine. Left field. Matt Holliday? It is Matt Holliday. Oh my god. See? Core outfielder? I wasn't getting that. Left fielder? I was. I mean, what what else? Like, I'm not getting any of these. Matt Holliday <laughs> like... signed a $120 million contract in the year 2010. Buddy, you could fill in the rest of the board with years, and I don't think I can get any of them still. Uh, the Marlins definitely signed guys. Mm-hmm. For sure. You guys should know the Marlins. I'll say that. I know. Like, <sighs> he wasn't a free agent though. That was a re-sign. I can't. Get... I don't even have any hints left. I'm just gonna go on a limb and hope to God he was a free agent when they re-signed him. Was it John Carlos Stanton? It was not John Carlos Stanton. He got okay. an extension. I know, yeah. but I was just hoping he went to free agency. Nate. For the win. You have one hint left, Nate. Give me Mariner's position. Mariner's position was second baseman. Oh, Robinson Cano. It is Robinson Cano. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Congratulations, Nate. You have won this free agent contract roulette, as I call it. He signed a $240 million deal in the year 2014. I want to keep going, but can we each get a hint? Every turn, if we want it, yes, fine, yes. Please. Since we've officially, it's da, officially da, 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 Nate wins. Can you just fill out the years? No, I want it. I want. I don't want necessarily okay. year. I think we should okay. get year or position. Yes, year or position. Okay, so <laughs> go ahead, boys. Let the. Is it? Oh, it's me, right? Yes. Give me the Royals year. Royals year. Yeah. Twenty sixteen. You said it was before the year, right? It was going into the yeah. It was for it. It would be the, the player got the deal, and then the next season after was twenty sixteen. Okay. Uh, shit. I got nothing for that one. Then fuck me. Um, is the Marlins? I got. Literally nothing on any of these. Is it Just fucking see. Jorge Soler? It is not Jorge Soler. Okay. Give me the Royals position. Royals position? He was a left fielder. Who in mind? And in one of them I was going to guess earlier. <laughs> Alex Gordon? It is Alex Gordon. <laughs> what? Alex Gordon. He was a free agent. agency. And he signed a $72 million deal with the Royals. Okay. So, uh, Brant, you're up again. Can I have... Can I phone a friend? Is <laughs> that not an option? Fine, phone a friend, because you got two people in here already. Uh, can I have the position for the guards? Position for the guards, he is a first base DH. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can even give you the money if that helps. Yeah. Sixty million dollars. Yeah, that didn't they help. Traded him to get out of this deal too. Carlos Santana. No. No. Oh, eh? Well, that's what I was thinking. So. Oh boy, I was about to give it away. I thought be that. <laughs> It's not Carlos Santana. Nate, get some more hints on the board, man. I need help. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Boys, we got to uh, going at it for a while. Come on. <laughs> what year was the Braves? The year of the Braves was 2013. Who the motherfuck played center field for the Braves in 2013? Guys, you can give up if you want. <laughs> No, I want to do this. Okay, we're going to be here for fucking three oh, it's hours. Kind of, it's Nate's guess. Right? We've been here forever. We're going to be here until we die. Oh, yo, Edwin. Well, which team? The Guards. The Guardians was Edwin and Cardassian. Really? Damn, that sucks. Nate's going to just... How, what did I get, six? It's 18 <laughs> to eight right now. Oh, eight. Nice. Okay. okay. So you have the A's. I can just... I Honestly, to speed this up, I can just give you guys the years of each contract. Who, so who's Mar- Incarnation? Same thing. Incarnation. There you go. So the Marlins was 2012. The Reds was 2020. Oh! Was it Jose Reyes? It was 2015. Fucking Jose Reyes. <laughs> True. The Marlins. I got one. I signed need to get a, the double digits. <laughs> signed a $106 million deal. Reds was, 20. was 20. Oh! 20? A's was 15. 15? I didn't even look at the other. Is that the only? Oh, no. We saw the Braves, right? Braves, yeah, the, A's, A's, and Reds. Reds? I A's think Braves I know Reds. who the Reds one was. Money. Let's go. I'm trying to think of the A's. Oh, I still get a hint, right? What's the position for the A's? Position for the A's is, uh, I feel like, first base DH again would be the operative. The A's? Huh? Like, all, you're, all you're thinking about is Matt Olson right now. Is it? Billy Butler? <laughs> it is Billy Butler. Definitely Billy Butler. Good guess. <laughs> Who is the position for the Reds? Billy Butler signed a $30 million deal. Um, The Reds is a little difficult because it's the only team in the league. It is the only team in this that has two players. Oh. In the same or, year? Or the same year, yes. Okay, what were they? Well, one was a, I guess you could technically say a third baseman. Okay. And the other one was a, a, a right a right fielder. Was one Eugenio Suarez? No. I am sorry. I guess you would know him more as a third baseman. I knew Eugenio Suarez as a in, third baseman. In, in the history of this player, you would think of him more as a third baseman. Okay. He didn't play third base there, though? He didn't. One's Nick so what Castellanos, the fuck did he... right? It, it, one of them is Nick Castellanos, yes. He signed that Can in Can I take a stab at the other one, too? Uh, Sure, but it's not going to give you an extra point. So I've already won. Yeah. So... Um, and you have all the not, points. It's not Todd Frazier, is it? It's not Todd Frazier. In the year 2020? 2020. I know. Third? He was a third baseman? I know I him as a third baseman. Because they signed, fine, they signed both. Oh, yeah. He didn't play third for them at all. Yeah, right. that's why. Third beast. You would know him more as a third baseman, but he did not play third base for the, the, the Reds. He played third base when he won the World Series. When he won the World Series? Not with the Braves. It's not that old. <laughs> he played for Mike Moustakis? Fucking Mike yeah, Moustakis. I don't get a point for that, but... No, you don't. Um... We got one left, right? That's the you, fucking you, brave center fielder from guys, 2013. Guys, can I just like just rapid fire? Let's go. Come on. I don't. I can't think of any Braves outfielders Ender prior NCRT. to last year. It's not Ender NCRT. Uh Gerardo Para. Do you? I can. Here's the. I'll give you the money. Even that is not going to help because it's going to be give no me money. His first name. I don't know if I get it. Ah, uh, is this Justin Upton? No, it is not Justin Upton. Is it BJ Upton? It is BJ Upton. <laughs> <laughs> Give me 10. BJ Upton in the year 2013 signed a $75.25 million deal. 
Me. Can you imagine signing BJ Upton to that deal? <laughs> Remember when we signed no him for like shit 10 cents? We didn't get that. <laughs> was it BJ or Melvin at the time? That was BJ. We got I Melvin. I think it was BJ upon signing, but was Melvin it? came like the next year. <laughs> Honestly, man, I I just wish we had BJ. BJ was BJ sick. Was Melvin so sucked. Melvin, Melvin, Melvin was ass. garbage. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys going through with this. Um, it honestly was closer than I thought it was going to be. I, yes. I won by 10. Yeah. That's co- that was closer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought I was getting like five. Yeah, we dude, we've, I didn't even realize we've been here for like two hours, like over yeah. two hours. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, we I had voted, 40 I, minutes to do that, and it took us 45. I vote this is King's Court. So you if go first you, next week? I think if you win, you should get the one seed. So you, like should, you go you again. Get, get you get first, first pick yes. next week? Okay, that's okay. fine. That's fine. Nate, Nate win. It'll be me versus Nate next week. Shout out. That being said, shout out to... And then it'll be me versus someone in the next week? Yeah. And then just me. Nate. What a run. All right, well, thanks for listening if you made it this far. Uh-huh. Uh, we appreciate you. If Hopefully you made it this the- far and don't know about John Dowd, you should uh, go back and play some what, EA Sports MLB 05, I think it was. MVP Baseball. Uh, MVP Baseball. I you forgot about that. Pick the guy and didn't even know where he came didn't from. didn't even Jesus. know what the fucking game's called. God, but there right. were so many games back then. You guys ever play Slugfest? No. Yeah. Did you ever play the Bigs? Yes. I didn't play the Bigs. Big what was the one on the Wii? I played that a lot. 2K? No. Yo, Slugfest was OP. You fucking if you got hit, you got might have been big. fucking covered in fire, and then could charge the mound. You ever play MLB Power Pros? That game was sick. Great. Can we can we just pause for half a second? Oh, MVP to get out of here. MVP of right? 05 might have been one of the greatest <laughs> games of all time. You could you could fucking oh two or oh three were pretty good. You could get your manager ejected if you wanted to if you got pissed off at a call, and you could like come out. You could argue the call, and you can choose how bad you want them to be. <laughs> You could fucking create stadiums at MLB 05. You know what we need? Didn't come in until like fucking 2020. We need bench brawls. And on that note. You had that in, what was the other one? Slugfest. Okay. Yeah, we need those. Yes. Like actually getting ejected and stuff. I know I think it's a thing, but you don't see it. It sucks. What else we need? I... Sleep. Nah. I would like to say the last thing on this podcast just for once. Okay. Okay. There's a very big fuck you I'd like to give out, and that is to Mr. John Heyman. Yes. Please kindly go fuck yourself. We'll start and end with that. Fuck you, John Heyman. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.